All right, so when we left off, uh, the group had decided that they were going to go back to Bramble Marsh uh, via the, the new crystal that they had found. Uh, but before you left, uh, Silen, the warlock, had decided he was going to go check out a medallion that was still inside a glass case. Upon picking it up, his body went stiff, and you guys basically witnessed him basically just kind of standing there in a catatonic state. While he found himself in a chamber, far, far, far from where he originally was standing. Pale blue lights lighting up the back wall, kind of casting a shadow forward of a lich, diligently working away at his desk, who, upon having an unexpected visitor, decided to ask some questions. So, we left off, I had asked him who he was, about, yes. and after that, um, so. <laughs> so what brings you to my tower? Well, uh, pardon my intrusion, this was an unintended, co unintended consequence of picking up a medallion. Uh, in a house that, in an abandoned house that we had found ourselves in. Hmm. He goes, he starts writing. <laughs> Apparently the warlock was unaware of what he was getting into. <laughs> I should be careful about who I give away these medallions to. <laughs> Apparently they get, li get left lying around a lot for random strangers to pick up. <laughs> or perhaps I should add in some sort of safety feature. Something that requires them to say a command word or something of that nature before giving these out. God looks at you. Of course, as he's writing all of this out, you hear, even though his mouth doesn't move, yeah. you can still hear his this this voice. He's like, I shall inquire further into this person's whereabouts. Perhaps I can deal with this whole situation all in one fell swoop. Excuse me. <laughs> Where are you currently located? Um, any people who are there, would you hurt them? He seems concerned about others that might be in his group. Adventurers are so <laughs> dependent upon one another. I don't intend to hurt anyone. I merely wish to collect my property. Called again. Um, do we know the name of the island? I wouldn't know the name of the island, but I don't remember it off the right now. Uh, Cathar. Cathar, that's right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the island of Cathar. Island of... He is in a remote island, far just south of the lands of the cat folk. I shall go there, post haste, and recover my property to prevent any future intrusions. I mean, since I may as well, I'll offer the the name of the person who the medallion belongs to. Um, who was? Do I have it on these notes? They might be on. Richard. Lose. <laughs> Martin. Yeah, it was Martin. But you never got a last name. No. Martin Gross Trees. <laughs> Gross Trees. <laughs> Scary Brains. Yeah, because I can actually look at the amulet right now because I'm caught in the trance. I don't have a right. manifestation of it in my hands in no. here, do I? know? You yeah. don't even have a, a body here. Okay. So I'm kind of in his head, almost literally. Almost. You're not completely certain. Meanwhile, you're watching him, and he just kind of collapses onto the floor. <laughs> Can I try and catch him? Sure. So you kind of move forward and grasp him as he's falling to the floor. Nine. And uh, lower him to lower him on down. Um, do I look at him like this? 
<laughs> I mean, it's up to you, dude. <laughs> Is he still clutching the amulet? Yeah, he just got it held in one hand. Uh, I am going to draw a dagger. Okay. And just kind of flip it out of his hand. Okay. Um, give me a strength check. 23. Okay. Uh, so you kind of slide the dagger in there and you flick it out of his hand. Uh, but he had like a death grip on it. So it actually took some, some, some muscle to, to pry it out. And it goes flying across the room and kind of skitters to a stop at your feet. Don't touch that. It's shiny. Taunted. It's, <laughs> you don't want it. Does Silen wake up? Shit, I slap him. <laughs> You're gonna come back bruised and <laughs> I think one point of damage. <laughs> Unless you have some kind of unarmed combat feat. <clears throat> so he's one point plus strength. <laughs> so silent. Uh, the lich kind of stands up and he kind of stretches and you hear his, his like bones kind of creak and pop. And he's like, it's been a couple of decades since I last stood up. And he kind of shuffles towards where you feel that you you are. He kind of looks at you. He kind of reaches out and even though you don't have a physical form, he just seems to tap you in the middle of your forehead with one finger. He's like, boop. And again, your stomach churns and everything kind of swirls and you find yourself thrust back into your body and you're like laying on the floor. Your cheek kind of stings and you got like a very slight cut on your hand not enough yeah. to actually cause damage but it, it kind of stings a little bit like a like a paper cut <gasps> hey he's not dead and no more touching random things huh oh where's the medallion somewhere over there under the desk and it's actually at his feet uh yeah don't touch that we should probably leave soon um uh, that was the the Lord Deshay was on the other end of that medallion. Um, for those of you who don't know, he's the Lich King Lord of Diora, and he's coming here to get that medallion. Why wouldn't yes, he just send a minion? Soon? I mean, if he's the head, if he's like the king, right? Well, I'm assuming that he wants it done quicker than anyone he knows can do it. Wait, if that, does that mean that the the kids aren't going to be safe to stay here while we go back into Blackbrar? Or not Blackbrar. Um, Brabble Marsh? <laughs> Briar Nick? What is Oops. his reputation as far as actually... Um, he does, his reputation is mostly mysterious. Okay. Uh, can't really name any particular time in the past like 50 or so years that he's even been seen. Would I be able to do a um, slightly after the fact insight check to see if he sounded believable about him not hurting anyone. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um fifteen. Um you you're <laughs> not completely certain. You can't yeah. think of any reason why a being of his power would have the necessity to lie. Right. You have a feeling that if he really wanted to just take the information from you, he probably could. Maybe yeah. not immediately, but it wouldn't take him too long to pry it from your mind. Yeah. So... Can I make an intelligence check? Ow. Oh, sorry. An, an intelligence check to see what I know about Diora? Sure. Six. <laughs> uh, you don't actually know a whole hell of a lot about Diora. It's kind of a shadowy place that but it's not you've like been trying at to war avoid. war with anyone? No, it actually has very good relations with most of the kingdoms around it. Where I mean, is that at? what's that? Where is that at? I'm trying to picture the map. Um, the so you have Venetia, mm -hmm. then you have Diora is kind of on this side of this long yeah, uh, okay. peninsula, this this finger of land that kind of sticks out. Diora is on this side. Mm -hmm. Then you have the gnomish lands here, and then there's like a whole jungle area that's kind of savage and wild and Yours uninhabited. Place, yeah. um, well, undead. It's, and it's, it's, yeah. we, we don't go to that shadowy place. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's fairly, there are a number of people that 
you've met that have come from Dior. Yeah. You don't know too many people that are in a hurry to move there. But at the same time, it has very good trade relations with pretty much any of the kingdoms that it deals with. Yeah. Would I have, you know, growing up on a boat, sailed to there? Probably. Or port something that people sail into if we were, like, delivering something? Or... Oh, yeah. The actual capital itself is, is a major port city. Okay. Um, you might have spent a little bit of time there, but it's kind of cold in spite of it being in what would normally be considered a, a subtropical area. Mm -hmm. The very nature of the land is, is kind of cold and gray and, and, and just rainy all the time. The sun very rarely shines there. And the whole area is just kind of considered cursed. Mm -hmm. It's just been that way ever since the uh, the uh, war with the the infernal forces. So ever since the age of darkness, it's it's been kind of a blighted land. But the people there seem to make do. Uh, they have very strict laws, or uh, that they they follow. So everything is is kind of goes at a very orderly, set kind of way. So there's not a lot of crime there and when there is crime it, it's usually punished fairly quickly through a very uh, systematic uh, system of courts and Not everything. Not happiness there either. They have like oh, what 77, no 666 law books of of the yeah of the nine laws. Yeah. Sounds like a great place. <laughs> <laughs> they have a big massive HOA payment. So that Lich King is coming here. And That's what he said. She brings up a good point. Can we leave the children here at this point? I mean, this is a medal that was awarded to somebody for service, right? But they haven't been at war, so it's not a medal of, yay, you killed a whole bunch of human children. I mean, so the royal family, there's a, there's a, it's a big family, right? Yeah. So why don't we stay here and, well, you talk to him. Well, it, I mean, it seems like if, as long as no one interferes with what he's going to do, that he's just going to ignore Give me perception everything. checks. He's already here. He, he's already <laughs> come, gotten it, left. Uh, well, I cannot see anything. 17. 10. More day. 19. Wait, wait. 16. 16. Okay. Winston? 18. 18? Okay. Mm -hmm. And Carl? 24. All right. Yeah. So all of you kind of notice a, a very noticeable drop in temperature. The, the air here is, is generally kind of warm and muggy, uh, a slight kind of cool breeze that kind of blows in off the water from fairly, very steadily, but it, it's, it's a warm tropical climate. But the temperature drops about 30 degrees. Oof. And you can, all of a sudden, you kind of see your breath. And it's like the sun slightly dims in the vicinity. And you see out of the shadow this kind of hunched figure in this long, uh, kind of grayish black robes of velvet kind of comes shambling forward. He's got a staff in one hand that he's like. Tork, tork. And you see these tiny pinpoints of blue light flickering in these empty sockets and you see this this smile the skeletal grin as this the skin is all kind of pulled back tight across his cheeks and everything the lips are all kind of dried and pulled back so all you see is his teeth that are just kind of gleaming and white and he kind of walks forward and looks around little wisps of white hair kind of drifting about his face um, coming from a noble background at this point I'll definitely act how like somewhat well not of actual noble like gameplay noble background but right. um act how a noble would pretty much act if like a Dioran lord or other lord would be in their presence. presence. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> he just kinda <clears throat> looks at the room just taking a, a kind of brief look at each individual person. Kinda looks about 
you just kind of, hmm. And this buck appears, he takes the quill, he's like, just as I figured, ragtag group of adventurers, motley crew, to say the least, do note that there is one tiefling amongst them, wanted for crimes. <laughs> However, not my concern at this time. <laughs> Does that mean he's going to not going to tell someone about it? And he kind of closes the Depends book the and, and like sets it off in the air, and it just kind of drifts next to him. It kind of wanders forward. Does the medallion have like a anything on it other than just a medallion? Or yeah, it's got like a the the uh, ribbon like. Mm -hmm. Uh, strap basically kind of like you would see like if you were like to get a gold medal at the Olympics or whatever it's got a strip of, of cloth uh, in uh, purple white and red uh, on the uh, around the neck and then for hanging it around the neck and it's just a gold fairly simple looking gold medallion to hang it's a coaster <laughs> so I'm gonna reach down and actually grab the the fabric of mm -hmm. the medallion and go and, and hold and just is this what you're here for yes most kind of you and he kind of shuffles forward again his mouth doesn't move but you hear this voice mm -hmm. he kind of reaches out and takes it from you with this skeletal hand with these kind of chipped yellowed nails that are a little bit extra long as the the basically the cuticles and everything are like dried and just Gives him an almost claw-like mm -hmm. appearance. Some moisturizer would help with that. <laughs> Just, mm. it's like, takes it, slips it into a pouch. Looks about. This was Martin's place. Is it yours now? Have you laid claim to it? Um, no, we were actually just leaving. I mean, some of us were going to hang out here while book. we went and did something, but we're not taking it over by any means. Martin's place is now vacant, perhaps thinking about giving it off to a yet another servant. It is a nice place. <laughs> Do you need us out of it? No need. I have no rush to award <laughs> anyone. By the time it gets around to awarding to anyone, we'll, we'll be dead anyway. Okay. He's like, there was another tiefling here. Deceased? Quite. Mm. Other tiefling wanted for crimes. Slain. Consider giving reward to party members for her defeat. <laughs> <laughs> If you'll excuse me, I have my experiments to get back to. Of course. And he just kind of turns and he kind of pauses. He's like, do not get too comfortable. Someone will come for you before too long. And he turns and he just kind of disappears into a, sh into a kind of a shadowy gate. And almost immediately as he leaves, the temperature comes back up and the sun seems to come out from behind a cloud. Does his book go through the gate or does his book just dissipate? It just dissipates. Well, oh, and if anyone was paying attention to me, not that they would have with him there, but the drop in temperature did not affect me at all. Hmm. If you... <laughs> that, <Elves. that's> that. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> it ruffled your feathers. So oh, we're I'll leaving leave now, you. yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll leave it up to you if you decided you noticed the temperature difference or not. Um, before we leave, and you're coming with us, what are you wanted for, and what should we expect to be coming for you? I don't know what's coming for me. The only thing I'm wanted for is something I have not done. You see? I mean, he seemed to think so, though, and he had glowing eyeballs, so. Because it was a noble's daughter. There was That's also rough, buddy. a very good relationship with this noble daughter and me, but yeah. Ladies man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so So we have potentially more operating demons coming to slay. And they can just show up wherever and whenever they want. Is that how demons work? 
unfortunate. I mean, is that how most demons uh, work? Yeah, I'm not a check. No, nope. we're not. Not. <laughs> yeah. You're not really I'm certain. Not. It's. I mean, your thing is is fey. Fey, more so. Yeah. So, the the way the the way of fiends is a little outside your league, but you would assume that, of course, they they can't. Some of them are are very very powerful and transporting from one round to another. They can pretty much go yeah. kind of wherever they want. I mean, I, I would assume it would depend on the demon, but yeah, I would think most of them can pretty much show up wherever. They might need some kind of summoning first, potentially like the the parchment the other one had, but still. Um. Hmm. Well, it seems like uh, if we leave the kids and the innkeeper here, we should be fine to leave now. That's what yeah. I'm assuming. He's not like, going to take back the house for a while. We just can't live here forever. Yeah. So. I mean, who knows when something will happen. Um, it's late morning. Okay. Not quite noon. Because okay. we already we had the fight with the demon this morning. Mm-hmm. Right. The demon yeah, we took. Yeah. I guess technically, yeah. yeah. So well, I am still missing well, those uh, if everybody's ready, we should get going, right? Um, yeah, I would think so. And the pirate, big pirate lady's coming, because she wants to go back and find her crew, correct? Or well, no, you hired her to stay oh, and protect right. these people. Okay. Um, we could always send her back later if we needed yeah. to. Since we're not actively doing anything right now, can I use this as a short rest to use a hit die? Uh, you can do that, or you guys could go tomorrow or whatever I mean how far I, away is this place that we're going well we're using a portal yeah, yeah. but mm-hmm. what's the time gonna be there if it's morning or afternoon here is it morning or nighttime there uh, when we came through this portal it was daytime there and it was daytime here so okay. I mean even if it's a couple hours off it's not gonna be the exact you know we won't show up there and it's nighttime I'm assuming yeah um, okay. from and what you could tell if, if anything it from what you guys could tell is pretty much the same time. same time. Would I have known that though with being a sailor and I probably know what time the sun is in the sky? Is that a safe assumption that a sailor would know that? I would yeah mm-hmm. I would say that that was something you could probably work out. Okay. Um, it could be much more than like an hour's difference. Okay then I will just use a uh, I'll just use hit die to recover. Is it hit die plus your con or mm-hmm. the just straight hit die? Okay. Yeah. So, do we wait for Cassidy at this point? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, so you guys take a few moments. Uh, by a few moments, you guys take an hour. Um, do up uh, cursory checks on all of your, your equipment and everything. Make sure that you have everything that you're taking with you. Um, use any hit dice that you may need to use. Recover any uh, things you would get back during a short rest. Um, while we're getting ready, I'm gonna go find Wensu. So, um, don't take this the wrong way. I don't judge people, but you seem to be the lightest fingered in the group. And I'm, accusing uh, you. I'm not accusing you of anything. <laughs> I'm just letting you know this is the pouch I keep my potions in. This is the pouch I keep my gold in, and if I'm down, this is the pouch you're allowed to get into. Noted. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> at this point, uh, get Silen, uh, takes the, the crystal, uh, sets it up. Where are you going to... Put the uh, the crystal out to activate it. Um, just Probably out on the side, the, like the porch kind of area, where there was, you know, a massacre earlier. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we could do it out. Um, where did we put all of our loot? <clears throat> did we decide that? I, think, I don't know if we get through her remains. 
Yeah, you did. I, that's not what she's asking. No, like the big disc of money and things from our You know, the stuff before these characters showed up. Oh, not your loot. You guys yeah. don't even get any of that right now. Where did we put our loot? I don't know why that. Anywhere. No. Callisay's no. got it down in the basement. That's her loot. She doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, it's, what it's loot? A, it's down to three. Shh. Lindsay, we no, need to two. talk. <laughs> I wasn't part of that. You know um, that. Oh, yeah, Where it's down to two. That? <laughs> you guys get all that loot. <laughs> what I paid the, the pirate lady? I can't remember her name. The pirate lady. Angry Berserker. Zakari. Zakari. What I paid Zakari to protect the money? I mean, she doesn't have any way to take it. I'm pretty sure we took it. And put it in one of the bedrooms? I thought so. I, I that was like mm -hmm. something that you guys money. went the other you guys had discussed about the money we were trying to look around and stuff. Um I thought it got left with um The last I heard it was still outside. I mean it was but yeah. that was also two days ago. So <laughs> I'm assuming that during those two two days you could have taken it and put it down the stairs or put it's it in like one I of the rooms. The and I took all this money. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What are you doing? It went, it went away into one of the rooms. Um, but, I mean, that was a bunch of... Yeah, because after the fight in the basement, we came up and everybody had some time and we were mourning. Yeah. So mm -hmm. sometime between... I don't know if he would have moved it or I would have because he was building the shrine. So I probably took care of it. Okay. Where'd you put it? Um, so how many? There was one. There was four bedrooms. There's six bedrooms six upstairs. Bedrooms upstairs. There's three there's like four on this side. Technically, there are seven bedrooms upstairs. One master bedroom yeah. and then uh, six smaller ones. So I probably would have chose one of the end bedrooms and just kind of stashed it in there. And <coughs> was there? Would those rooms have a key readily, readily available? Uh, you haven't actually found any keys in this place. But you do have a rogue. True. Mm -hmm. And he but could he lock that nice. for us? Yeah. yeah. You're not rogue. Really. So, <coughs> yeah, no. I would have it's sad. chosen one of the end rooms. You know where the, the innkeeper and his daughter are sharing a room? Mm -hmm. And then the two kids are sharing a room. Right. So maybe on the floor. Zakari's got a room. Zakari's somewhat. got a room. No, actually, she spends most of her time mm -hmm. um, in, the in the hammock. hammock. Lou hadn't picked a room. Okay. So I'll take. He didn't the, live long enough. No, I'll take. Would have put it. Ouch! Like the Too farthest, soon, man. The farthest, the farthest, farthest there were room, room, like from okay. the front door, basically. Okay. It's too heavy, though. I mean. And then put it in there, and I would have, between, after the morning and after the funeral stuff had him lock it. So. Okay, so it is in one of the upstairs rooms locked away at the moment. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It's uh, 1150 gold. Worth yeah. <coughs> it's just, but it's, to take it's some a lot of it's silver. Just yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> it's six, six bags. It's a little less though, room. right? Because you paid Zakuri and Zakura, Zakar, Zakuri? Zakari. Zakari. Zakura in... Zakari. Uh, the Kari in uh, copper, if I remember right. You offered to pay her like 100 gold, but in copper pieces. Is that what it was? No, I don't know if you were serious or I not. I think he was joking. He yeah. was joking. We said no because we didn't want to make her angry because she's scary. Well, I mean, because, yeah, you would have had to give her 10 bags of copper pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and if she took it, whatever. <laughs> no, we didn't. We gave her. I thought it was just so far, you haven't really given her anywhere anything because she hasn't had anywhere to, to go to take it away. Yeah. So. But um. You are just currently owed. She is just currently owed a, a fairly significant sum of, of coin. <clears throat> okay. So now that I know where my money is, our money. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Our <laughs> money. We're going to. Now we can proceed. Right, back hurts. I try to get it to do the thing and it won't do the thing. Mm. The only problem is, I mean, are we coming back here? Well, yeah, we're not, we're there's going. a magical crystal, right? I mean, it was almost my understanding, uh, speaking as a player, that this was going to be pop out, pop back. Kind this of our base. our base of operations because we have these crystal, like crystals that can get us back here. Like, yeah. We didn't want to take everyone, the kids want to go home. 
Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, I'm assuming you're taking the other crystal? The purple the one? The gateway back. The gateway back, yeah. I'm going to be taking that one. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> we just did. You have, I think I have that one still, don't I? Or did I give that one to you? Oh, uh, you gave it to me. Okay. I think for a while there, Calliste had it. <clears throat> yeah, Calliste did have it. Yeah. And then Lou got it. Mm-hmm. And then it, from Lou and to Wensu, and then Wensu passed it to Silent, and Silence kept it. Right. Silence Gordon. He's got a thing for tall, broody, dark haired folk. <laughs> Lou wasn't broody, and he was blonde. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, what is that for tall <laughs> people? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful people. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I think we're ready. All right, so where are you setting the crystal up? Um, Yeah, probably on the like the the outside, the porch area with like the where the 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 fire pit is. Yeah, roughly out there somewhere. I think because we don't want to set it up over where we arrive. I think that would be a little potentially hazardous. Okay. Well, you also have the, the area where the compass rose is by the the pier, and then you got the porch and any of the rooms, wherever you want to set it up. You Actually, you can set it up where in the master bedroom. Once wants to play consistency with it, one up in the air and one down below. We could do it in the master bedroom. It's a large space. Um, that could be converted into like the the planning room if we decide to, to go that route later. Sounds good. So yeah, we'll do it up in the house up there then. All right, so you go up there and you activate the crystal and the portal opens up and on the other side you see a uh, kind of a dark, rainy, uh, apparently stormy portion of Bramble Marsh. It looks like it opens up somewhere near the tower. Um, so I should probably go through last just in case something happens, I can reopen the portal. And it's dark? It's uh, it rainy and cloudy rainy and gloomy. gloomy. All right, so who is going through the portal first? Me. Okay. <laughs> that looks time. cool, I wanna go. <laughs> just, just let me go first. Makes sense, you've been there before. And I like to punch things. All right, so Kara, taking a, taking a breath and you step through the portal into uh, the tower, the area around the tower of, in Bramble Marsh. So go ahead, see where that eraser is? Mm-hmm. It's kind of right about there. Mm-hmm. It's where you appear into uh, the area. You see about 20 feet ahead of you, you see two bodies uh, currently ablaze with this just crimson flame. Uh, there is a storm raging all around. The barn area, uh, directly across from you, you see a number of other corpses of the uh, small plant creatures that you encountered when you first came here, uh, also uh, currently ablaze. The door to the tower stands mostly open, and there is a figure standing just outside of it. He's wearing uh, kind of a, a... rusty looking uh, chain armor that's not very well taken care of with uh, some uh, leather leggings and he's got a great sword and just kind of looks at you and kind of growls and barks into the tower we got company folks all right i'm gonna get my fists ready all right what are you doing you are first um can they hear me back through the portal? No. You can see her though, right? It's your, it's your round. What are you doing? <clears throat> um, I'm going to turn around and look behind me at the portal and see what I see. If I can see them, I'll motion for them to come in automatically. Okay. And that's, that's can it. Can I make a, mo- a movement? Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm going to back just up. Like a com- <laughs> just like a combat round. Um, basically, I'm going to go, if I dashed, it would be eight, Double your eight squares. No. Yeah. 80 feet? Yeah. Is how many? That's not eight squares. No, you no, can do eight squares on a normal move. Yeah, okay, so, so, there's, so there's, there's not enough squares to how far I'd run. But I don't want to run, run too far because I don't want Yeah, because if you run way. away, then everybody else is just going to die and you're going to run away. You can always go behind the portal, <laughs> use it as kind of a 
Yeah, cover. maybe just shift Why if the portal's here. Because then that leaves the portal open and we have people that aren't armed in there. Not there. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? You don't get to if get the help here, from these guys. You're on your own. The portal's here. Yep. So I'm going to go. So if you want to put the eraser or something there to, to mark where the portal's at. All right. So you move to there mm -hmm. and end your turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Who goes into the portal second? I'd like to. I wanted to go first. Okay. Yeah. So you step through the portal and you see. Uh, put your mini over there. <coughs> you know how this game's played. I don't actually. And you see a figure over by the, the doorway, and he draws a great sword off of his back, and he begins to, to move forward. You see the bodies of creatures you don't recognize, look like humanoids, uh, kind of a blaze, about six of them in total, uh, scattered about the, the area. You see a large tower that he is standing in front of, and what looks to be some sort of like carriage house or barn directly across from where you're at. Okay. What are you doing? Um, first thing I want to ask is my ring of storms, is it going off right now? Yes. Okay, so this is a natural storm. It is a natural storm. Okay. Um, next I'm going to draw both of my, both of my long swords. I'll okay. be like, I have swords too! Why don't we get a drink instead of fighting though? Then I will step forward ten feet. Hopefully the drawing of my swords has warned the rest of the party that shit is going down. Alright. Um, at this point... You see a figure step out of from the doorway. Just kind of steps right out in front, and he's got a crossbow. And you see a, another person with a shield come out as the guy with the great sword charges forward towards you, as you are the closest person. The the one with the shield, seeing that uh, he's engaging you. Uh, kind of draws his sword, thumps it on his shield, and runs towards the another four squares towards the monk. Okay. Uh, first guy is taking a swing at you. Okay. Oh, it was only fine. She doesn't want to fight. She wants to make friends. <laughs> Well, plus she doesn't know what the tower's about. It's like we're coming through to a town, right? All right. So, uh, swing of a twelve, as he swings the great sword at you, um, but misses. While the guy with the the crossbow is like, whoosh, whoosh, pops off a shot at you. He's not likely to hit. Is it gonna come through the portal? <clears throat> if he misses, it doesn't go backwards. Can I take an action or is it too late? Well, it's open, we don't know. Um, does a 14 hit you? No. Alright, so the crossbow bolt goes kind of flying past you. Um, so who is next? He doesn't come back. Coming through a portal. No. Who's coming through the portal next? I said I was going to go last, so there's... So which of you three is going next? What's he said? Alright, so you step through the portal and you see that there's combat already engaged. Um, with your, your quick eyes you see the, the burning bodies and everything as, as described and there's like a storm raging up above. Uh, the weather is much cooler here, obviously being in the far north mm -hmm. compared to the tropical regions you are currently in. Um, but what do you want to do? Knowing that, so you said I scanned the room and seeing that this one is a threat because he's got a crossbow and he's less armored than the other two for me. <laughs> uh, he is wearing studded leather armor. Mm -hmm. Just looks like. Um, can I reach him? Because I can move. Move six. Because <clears throat> I can use. Uh, you couldn't pass by him, right? Well, he could. Well, he could, but him. he'd have to hop around. Yeah. yeah. He also would get sneak attack on the crossbow, right? Okay? That's true. You couldn't reach that guy, but if you could get here, you'd get sneak attack. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, so Winston will run past. Mm -hmm. 
does hit. Okay. Ten damage. Ten? Okay. Alright, so you come through the portal and you become immediately aware of what's going on. You quickly draw your dagger and dash around to the back side of this this large thug with a great sword mm -hmm. and plunge the dagger into his back and like take a big chunk out of him and just blood pours out of out of the wound and see but he's still standing and just kind of grunts in your general direction. Is he not he's not a giant type, right? He is not. He is a human. Yeah, okay. Who's coming through the portal next? Oh All right. So, you take in a breath, step through the portal into chaos. There's a storm raging around. The wind kind of whips your cloak a little bit. You kind of grip your shield and look about and you see that combat is going on ar around you. Mm -hmm. You see a guy with a crossbow over near the doors to the tower. Uh, there are bodies of some sort of strange humanoid creatures all about, uh, all of which are on fire. What are you going to do? I have a speed of 30, so I'm going to do 9, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Clutch your shield and run around, run around to take advantage of, of the the action and, and interpose yourself behind the one of the these thuggish looking brutes. And you swing your sword at it, but he quickly kind of moves around and blocks away your attack with his shield, and just kind of grunts at you through like yellow teeth and a little bit of spittle kind of around his mouth. All right. I'm through. <laughs> and then you come through the portal. <clears throat> this guy looks like group. Again, you see a, a, there are three attackers currently battling uh, your party members that came through before you. Uh, some creatures that you don't recognize blaze on the ground around you. And what are you doing? Six squares. Six squares. Yeah. I'm gonna attack this guy. Mm -hmm. Twenty. All right, that's a hit. And then this one. So this one. Twenty-six. points. Alright, so you come through the portal, draw your short sword, and move around behind the, the did you roll 2d6 or just one? One. Oh, because you're using the magic um, short sword, right? Yes. So that one has an extra d6 psychic damage. Oh. Yeah. So this is just the what? dice. <laughs> Five. So, 13? 13 points. <clears throat> Alright, so you come dashing out around, uh, draw, quickly draw your short sword, and as you run past him, you sweep across the, his midsection. Uh, the blue uh, light energy that seems to emanate from the blade of your sword kind of like digs in, and you see his eyes flash, 
and he just kind of screams out, and you can hear the screams emanating from the sword as he crumples to the ground dead. Dead. Silent. I I pop through. You pop into the raging storm around you, you just in time to see one body fall. You see two other people, not of your your group. All right. What are you doing? Um, because it looks like that he is not being uh, engaged yet, I am going to cast Eldritch Blast at him. All right, roll it. Uh, that would be a twenty. It's a hit. Uh, ten points total. Ten points. Mm-hmm. All right. So you let loose with a with a bolt of energy, and it strikes true to to about the center of his chest, and he kind of staggers a little bit and just kind of looks back up at you as he finishes loading his crossbow. Uh, initiative. Where are you? <clears throat> I'm doing it. Like, but I got my thing. I know, I got it really <laughs> bored. Now he's like, I'm going to do initiative. <laughs> Let me turn it back. Seven. <laughs> Get off the couch. <laughs> Where's the catnip? All right, Kara? 24. Winsu? 15. Sandra? Uh, 18. Morde? 14. Silent? 18. Dagmar? 7? I think you already wrote mine down. Nope. Okay. I asked for it. You, you ah. said it, but he didn't. I didn't well, he was writing when I said it, so. Uh, anyway, who's first? Alright, first is Kara. Can I dash and punch him in the face after? Uh, no. Because dash is you, an action. Dash is an action. Can I use a bonus action? For a key point? You can get him in the way. You, you can, can get there. You've got eight squares. One, two, three. No, she's no. back here. Yeah, but even as that one, you've one, got a room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, well, now you can punch him in the face. <laughs> you, you can run and punch lots. That's not running, though. That's, that's just a brisk walk. She just... <laughs> <laughs> um, does a 16 hit? 16 does hit. All right, so I hit with both. So we're all just like briskly walking towards each other and engaging in combat. Pretty much. Uh, 16 points. Wait, no, sorry, 15. 15? All right. All right, so you you move up and uh, punch him a couple of times, and once in kind of like the side, and then once across the jaw, and he kind of spits a little blood onto the ground and kind of brings his eyes back up to look at you. Meanwhile, it is Sandra and Silent simultaneously. Well, I'm going to Eldritch Blast the same one that I did before. Okay. Ten. Uh, miss. I'm going to move. If I'm here, do I get a sneak attack? You don't get a sneak attack. attack. Only rogues do. That's my job. Says the cleric. <laughs> and rogues don't even need to be behind to do sneak attack anymore. They just need to. I just like stabbing. They just need to have friends. Yeah. Yep. It's time when I sneak attack. No. You, you are, are a cleric. What <laughs> you doing? Uh, I'm gonna hit it. All right. Hold a hit. At least I'm gonna try to hit it. Uh, Thirteen. Hit. Woo. Alright, hold on. Four. Four. Okay, my favorite thing is when somebody has to come back from the bathroom at school. Okay. And so, four points? Four points. Alright, so you swing your longsword and it buries it deep into the, to this, uh, the chest of this, this kind of large brutish man and he collapses to the ground. Got the killing blow. 
after Sandra, it's Winsu. Turns around, pops over. I'll rob you later. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> group. Rob you later. And I'm gonna okay. <laughs> or not. Come on, man. Twelve. Twelve. Miss. So you move around over there quickly uh, and take a swing at your dagger, and he just kind of definitely kind of moves off to the side as your dagger swings way wide of, it, of his abdomen. Mm. After that, it's uh, Morde. Again, nice. a swing of the blade and this this <laughs> nimble, roguish type uh, easily evades the blow. And that brings it to his turn. Uh, he is going to cunning action, disengage. And he's going to move six squares inside. And then actually he's going to go up the stairs. No, this way so... Here's here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Five, Actually, the stairs are to start down here. So you no, you get it right. Oh, is that? Yeah, right? It's a double landing. Right. I just. I thought. And then oh, uses action to dash, and he just kind of disappears upstairs. We just, we just don't know where. Yeah, yeah, we just don't know where he's at. <laughs> All right. Initiative. I didn't. It's a go. Oh, sorry. What do you want to do? I want to go stand next should. to the portal. She's going to take up a defensive stance and she's going to ask Silent, how long is this thing going to stay open? Um, do you, do I know? It'll stay open indefinitely until somebody on the other side closes it. Okay. Did, it, did that last time? Well, so last time we grabbed the... Blue pulled it really quick. Yeah, almost got cut in half. Side. I have a grappling hook. But I'm assuming that we would have... I guess we didn't say that, but I assume we would have had one of them close after us if they're able to, right? Or we didn't we didn't mention it at all. Yeah. And it's so one it has way, to... so it doesn't really matter. It's only one way. Yeah, it's gonna stay open indefinitely, but it's only one way. Until we go all right. back. So initiative. We, it's another crystal that's, for that. That's definitely been more than six seconds. Until the right. huge monkeys <clears> the same. It. So then we have to go tell them to close it. Yeah. After you go through it. <laughs> or somebody. But it, wait, you said it's one way? Mm hmm Oh. That's why I, accept, I said except when the big huge one, he's going through it. <laughs> it's one way so they wouldn't go in there. The big huge monkey. It's so it's scary. And then jungle. The, smile. the forearm, the, like the forearms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, oh, we're the not car. talking about the smiling uh, ones. Fifteen. Oh. Not the smiling ones. Winsu? Twenty-two. Sandra? 13. Morde? 23. Silent? 12. Dagmar? 6. Alright, so <laughs> the first person is Morde. What you doing? What do you want to do? Um, it's, could I see anything inside the castle from where I'm at? Uh, no, it's a little bit too, too shadowed in there. There's no light source in there. I don't think I have a light source. You do have dark vision though. Sure. So once you go inside, yeah. your eyes will adjust and you'll be alright. You'll still be for a bitch. So I'm just gonna move up right here. It's like this way. Could I peek in from there? Alright, you peek in. in and you see a guy dead standing over here. Oof. And then something flittering around up above him. Could I like turn Me. back and be like, there's another guy in there? That's yep. everyone. And then you have only moved two spaces. So you still have four spaces of movement, your action. So you have other stuff you can do still if you want to. Could I go upstairs? Uh, sure. You can move four squares going towards going upstairs. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can do one right there yeah. if you want. Okay, so you begin making your way upstairs. So after more day is Winsu. You can use mm -hmm. your cutting action. Yeah, you can to use dash. your cutting action to dash. Yeah. So that's your bonus your bonus action, the cutting action. So right. you can effectively move twice and still attack. Okay. So <laughs> that'd be I a mean, bit much. I haven't How played monks yet. So. If you do that you can move uh tr twelve. Awesome. If I go upstairs, it's gonna make this. And John's like Damn it, guys, clear the bottom first. <laughs> well, I know, I mean, I see him. Okay, I can see him. Can I see him from right here where I'm at, or no? No. Have You'd have up. to get kind of inside so that your eyes can adjust. Do Kenku have dark you, vision? You didn't. No, I don't. No. <clears throat> so I, at least I'm going to do the here before I start running, and he catches my eye, I guess, too. Um, yeah. Yeah, just as you get inside, the, there's light that comes in through here, so you just kind of see a shadowy figure over in that direction. So these guys are just standing around the door. But knowing this place, too, and knowing... Well, that's the thing, though. I don't know that the rug ran upstairs, though, because I couldn't see that. Right? No, you wouldn't have. So what you doing? One other question. When I was fighting these guys, did I... Did they have clothing on that we recognize, like possibly from the Baron, that I would have recognized? No, nah, they just look like Baron regular Dougie, Dougie okay. type fighter types. Got it. Got a party in here. This is our place. Um, <laughs> so I potentially move 12, he said, and still attack? Yep. Or you can use your bonus action to to hide instead if you want. Yeah. So the the guy with the club moves forward six towards the front door. Moves moves to there, and the flying creature uh, follows along with him, and will fly up and attack the the uh, one person that he can actually see, which is Morde. You made the dog man. When it passed by me here, though. Or, I don't know, would that have given me it, it wouldn't have gone all that way around. It would have just kind of gone through and up. Okay. So, no, you wouldn't have It would have taken a more direct route, route then. <laughs> <laughs> Because well, uh, it would have gone here, here and then here. It wouldn't yeah. have passed your square. I kept thinking it was here. So, yeah. it was like, so. Okay. Does a... Not that? Mm -hmm. 23 hit you? Definitely. Alright. So give me a constitution saving throw. Okay. What's that? What's that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Five. <laughs> Alright, so you take four points of piercing damage as the as it whips this barbed tail around and stings you. Uh, and then you take Some poison damage. Some. Nine <laughs> points of poison damage. Holy shit! Only some. Right. I could have gone worse. Uh, after the 
dude and the imp go. It is Kara's turn. And I can't see him, even though I'm right there. Uh, yeah, can you can see, see him. him. He's basically come out into a, a oh. fairly well lit area. Alright. doing? Two, three. Does an 18 hit? 18 does hit. How about a 16? 16 no, no, 14. hits. And a 14 also hits. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to use a key point to do another one. Okay. So I hit with all three. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. So you run in, and with your first blow, you kind of pop him in the jaw, and his head kind of whips to the other side. And you bring your other fist around, and, and you hear a crack in his neck as his neck breaks and he dies. And then, just for good measure, you kick him, and <laughs> kick him as he's falling onto the ground. And then I would kick him, sir. <laughs> So after Kara, that brings it to Sandra. Do you have any spells? Oh, no, wait, I have a bow. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, shoot the flying thing. Let's do it. I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> All right, shoot at it. So you drop your sword and quickly pull out your bow Hopefully and take a shot the at the, like the imp. To it, I'm going to shoot it. Are you right next to it? No. No, I'm very okay. close to it, though. And I'm still going to shoot it. How high up is it? Even with maybe not. Mm -hmm. So however, mm -hmm. many, <laughs> I was like, like, that doesn't actually tell me how high up in the air it is. It's like three flights, like so, a couple ten feet. Yeah. Okay. The stairs. Eight. To hit? Yes. Uh, that is a miss. Dang. So when you're in combat <laughs> and you want to switch weapons, you have to drop the other one. You can't put it back in. You can put it away, and then you can draw a weapon, but then you don't get to attack. Do I usually just drop it and go for the next thing? Okay. Yeah, because it, it can be a mi minor action or, well, almost a free action, though they don't call it that, to quickly holster one thing or pull something out. But to put something away and pull something else out is too much. So dropping it is, like, even quicker than that. Yeah. It, it's kind of... So I threw my sword on the ground. Yeah. So uh, let's remember to did it go out. down the stairs? Yes. Clack, 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 clack. They didn't know we were here yet. So after Sandra, it is Silen's turn. I'm going to use my action to cast Mage Armor. Okay. <laughs> and good then... choice, good choice. And then just, that, that's my turn. Do you have any cleric spells, though? Yes. Because you might have been better off just using a cantrip. You're downstairs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so after Silen, uh, it is this. Where did he go? He's behind the. Oh. He was just hiding. He pops out right here. Was he upstairs? And then yeah, he, he kind of comes out from around here, comes yeah. over to there. He's still uh, see, sees you on the stairs fighting with the imp, and he's going to take a shot at you. Beep. And he is going to hit you. Mm hmm. Um, 19 on dice alone. Yeah. <laughs> so, eight. You said the imp has a tail with like a stinger on the end? Yep. Yeah. Barb. Yeah, yeah, like a scorpion's tail. Barb. Oh, is it? Okay. Barb, D10 plus 5. Barb. So, D10 plus 5. So, Barb. does 14 points of piercing damage to you? Okay. Plus. Let's break it stairs. Another 4 points of Let's sneak attack here. damage. What, 20? Ian's like, you chose to run up the stairs, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? You yeah. this. So then he is going to, uh, so he moved one, two, he moved two. Mm -hmm. So he's going to move I think he said uh, it was 14. 
18 disappear back four, back so behind this 18. wall. 18, like over here? Yeah. yeah, three. But he's downstairs? He's upstairs. Mm -hmm. Upstairs. Okay, is this like, There's a hallway and stuff upstairs. <laughs> yeah. I'm just... It's not the dots are there, so I don't know. Would I have heard him moving around up there? Uh, yeah, you would have heard the, the crossbow bolt, or the crossbow, and the, the loud <laughs> thunk, <laughs> and then, uh, as he takes a <laughs> fairly <laughs> severe hit would I from a crossbow. A, a good idea of where he's at from... What yeah, he's on the second floor three. up in the balcony area. But I'm saying, like, I know I'm he's not nine. above me that he might... Trying yeah. to echolocate. Yeah. 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 You get an idea that he's up. He just uses yeah. birdie so why did you run the... All right. Okay. So after that, it is Dagmar's turn. Excited. Thank you for remembering me. Okay. Well, everybody just ran into this building, so I'm gonna. Not everybody. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah. I'm gonna go up to the doorway. Just four squares. Here. What do I see when I look inside? Uh, you see Chaos. an imp fluttering around up above, uh, fighting with the uh, tiefling ranger. Okay. Uh, just behind the tiefling ring, well, obviously you see the cleric it's standing dark. behind them. Um, that's pretty much all you can really make out. You have no idea where the guy is upstairs, or even that he's upstairs, other than there's some people on the stairs. I'm going to sheath one of my swords and pull one of my torches off my pack, light it off of the burning corpse standing next to me, and then walk into the room. Okay. What the fuck is going on? All right, from here you can see that there's the stairs go up to an open area over there, and then there's like a room directly in front of you. Okay, I'm going to go, ah! Can I hit the thing, or did I use my action? You have used your action. Okay. Right, the fuck is that? All right, initiative. Don't touch it, it hurts. But hey, now there's light in here. Me too. Yours is better though. Yours are both better. Kara? Eight. Winsu? Eight. Sandra? Five. Morde? Fourteen. Silent? Six. Dagmar? <laughs> Eighteen. Dagmar? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So. Dagmar just was like. <laughs> um, from upstairs you hear a whistle and then you hear some more fluttering of wings and you hear another voice say what's going on down there and you hear a, a, a human voice in common is like we've got visitors send down some more help fine fine whatever just deal with it and you hear some more fluttering going on up there as the guy pops back around the corner there and he's going to take a shot again at the one that's being attacked I swear by the I'm imp. I'm going to die. Mm. Uh, does oh. a 15 hit you? This is why oh. I'm here. Hold on. Hey, you or, sorry, not a 15. You're being cuddle buddies 18. on the stairs with the cleric, though. Just barely. Yes. <laughs> so. Ouch. <coughs> 14 points of piercing damage. Yeah, and then some sneak attack damage on top of that. Dead. It's not dead, you you're just unconscious. Fall to the stairs at the feet of the cleric. Guess, guess what? I can do things now. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and then he moves back. Sandra's all excited. She's like, I got this! <laughs> Someone's finally Meanwhile, <laughs> it is Dagmar's turn. Uh, I want to cut off its <laughs> tail. How do called shots work in this? There aren't any. Then, kill it. I mean, I guess I could try. Okay. Um, the one with red will be the torch. So, twelve. Uh, miss. Twenty-one. Hit. All right. Uh, twelve points of damage. All right. So you swing your sword, and as you swing up, you just kind of clip it in the side and. and and almost cut it completely in half and drops to the ground dead. That thing is nasty. Um, and then and some remember black I mean, ooze kind of it kind of like pulls out around it, and then the body just kind of evaporates okay. into a black puddle. I'm gonna uh, basically take the torch and run it underneath my my sword where all the black goo is. And then uh, remembering that we brought a 16 year old with us, uh, she's gonna go uh, up the stairs with her and basically take up. She can go. Boop. 
whoop, whoop. Um, kind of looking at the, okay. the tiefling line. As you can see, there are dotted lines there that mark where the balcony is upstairs. Is so if you want to go any further than that. Um, uh, oh, okay. Then, yeah, I'll Should go. You sing? Oh, you're uh, at 15. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so hang on. Uh, I lost count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. After Dagmar, it is now um, Morde and the other creatures. Does the, the uh, does the blood react at all to the fire? Make a no. death saving. Throw. But does it go? So roll this. You want to get a ten so. or higher? What other creatures in the room? The stuff. The the ones that were getting cold from over here. Are they upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs. Okay. So from here, starting here, move okay. him like six. Up. Towards this stage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, Cassidy, but natural 20 on the death saving throw. You have one hit point. You are conscious. Otherwise, he's going to trip over the next step and be right back at him. <laughs> But that also means that you can have six this turn down below. Yeah, so you can stand forward. up, which will use half down your below. movement. Yeah. And then yeah. you this still have one three left, but you can't really. Stay down then. Uh, this side, that side. Uh, oh just God, I'm just gonna keep right playing dead. Can I with this guy? And yep. wait for you to heal me, please. You can. You can so if you, you want, you can take a swing at that one as it goes by, Winston. Right now? No, you're gonna be standing up. Yes, that is a sign No, you don't. You can stand up if you want to. No, I'm gonna stand up. Okay. Oh, so that's what happens is if anyone tries to get you in melee, they have an advantage, which means they roll twice and take the highest. If anyone mm -hmm. tries to shoot at you, they have disadvantage, so they take twice and take the lowest. 25 to hit? That is a hit. So, just, okay. just one attack, guys. Just one attack. Yep, just one attack. Eight points of damage. Eight points? Yeah. Alright, as it goes uh, flying by and you just kind of lash out at it real quick with your dagger, uh, you, it, it, you are hidden from it, so... Get sneak attack? Is that do you want to use your sneak attack now, or do you want to be able to use it on your turn? Mm. Honestly, now because I've got to get to okay, the go ahead and roll the, the damage. Yeah, and you don't really have anybody who's flanking to give you the sneak attack bonus anyway. So that would be. Would they say? It's five more. It's so. it's enough. Okay. So as it goes flying by, you like reach out with your your dagger and you just kind of like clip it and just kind of pull out its entrails that just kind of <laughs> string out in a black ooze and then it, it just kind of turns into a puddle on the ground just kind of like an inky black puddle yeah. <laughs> but you are no longer hidden yeah all right um so that's mordai and those guys have gone uh, now it is kara and winsu simultaneously I'm gonna go first. How does second story work? I, I, I you can make climb checks. Basically, it, it, it allows you to move when you're climbing. Mm -hmm. You don't take in any penalties to movement. <clears throat> so you can move 30, 30 feet while climbing okay. instead of half. Instead of half. Well, I know, I was like, okay. No, I was like, wait, I was still requires climb checks and all that kind of stuff. But. Well, I'm just saying, like, uh, because it gets basically like instead of having to because go you've all the way around, succeeded, so that, you don't have to worry about that. Because then it would only if count you did roll a natural twenty, 10 feet, you would have filled how in, started filling in the bottom. Uh, so there is ten feet, so it'd be ten, twenty to get up to the top of the stair to the stairs there, and then you'd still have ten more feet that you could go. So two more squares, basically. Yeah. Or I'd be able to do because here would be one going through here. Right. It counts as two. two. There, so I'd actually be able to get two there. Yeah. If I did, up, like I said, there, I'd be able to just go to here. Right. Okay. So I'm going to do when she's going to. Okay. So as you uh, give me an uh, athletics check real quick mm -hmm. for the climb part of it. Only 11. Uh, it's more than enough because it's an easy thing to climb up. So you just kind of go over there, grab the bars, and kind of fling yourself over the banister onto the stairs, mm -hmm. and then you can move on up from there if you want. Okay. Uh, that still leaves you your bonus action if you want to use a cunning action to hide or if you wanted to dash. You um, can still do that. I think I'm going to 
use my bonus action to hide again. Okay. So. so. Check. Ten. Ten. Okay. All right. That's it. So that was Winsu. That leaves Kara. And he's here. Yeah. Yeah, he's upstairs. I'm gonna dash because I know someone's popping out from over this way. Okay. Shooting. I don't know. I Are you? Don't know this guy. Hmm. Okay. Well, you, you can go move. move are you first going to and just then move dash after? Because it's two steps. Okay. So your, your move is two and dash are two separate six, things. Seven, eight. So I can go here. Right. And then what can I see from this point? Uh, from that point, uh, you can see the imp down below. Mm-hmm. And honestly, that's it, because everything else is, is blocked by walls from your current vantage point. Well, since he's here and I don't want to block him, she's... You're coming up the stairs, so far. Yeah, she's yes. upstairs with you. I have so a torch. We're all... Okay. <laughs> I think maybe I'll just take one more step out so I can survey okay. anything else. And I know it's going to expose me, but... So you basically use your action to to basically Dash. take more five more feet. Yeah, five more feet and kind of just take a look around and. Okay, uh, as you pop out through there, you can see across the gap, right there. You see this small gnomish figure kind of standing there with kind of this like lime green goatee and this like crazy lime green hair that's kind of underneath a purple hood. And he's standing there and he's got this staff and at the top of the staff. It's flickering with with almost a black, uh, almost like a black flame up, up on the top of it. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of flickering. It doesn't really give off any light. You just see this like shadowy <laughs> movement above. And he kind of looks across at you and he's like, Ha ha! So, the townsfolk have sent people to try to stop us, have they? Well, it's not going to work, I say! <laughs> I shall set you all ablaze! All right. Don't laugh, don't laugh! I'm like semi-conscious. <laughs> okay. yeah. Begins chuckling slightly on the floor. All right. So after Kara, that brings it to Silent. All right. Hear the internet chuckle. So. <laughs> I'm gonna move part of my movement here. I'm gonna try an Eldritch Blast that imp that imp? no one's currently engaged. Currently with. engaged with. Um. Twelve. Uh, I believe it's actually a miss. It is. It mm. is a miss. Wow. Okay. All right. So, so you're like, right. and you see this flash of light kind of uh, down below as it basically kind of takes a line towards sure. the through here and kind of uh, ricochets off of the stone walls. And I'm just going to use the rest of my movement to go further up the stairs here since everyone else is kind of kind of upstairs. Kind of upstairs. <laughs> All right. Mm, that's it. Yeah. All right. After silent, it is Sandra's turn. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on him. All right. So then 1d8. Plus something, plus right? Plus my spell casting. Yeah. So plus 5. 11. You get right, 11 so you get, more hit points. You get 11 hit points back. <laughs> My mom did that sauce. Okay. And then I still do you can, I have movement stuff. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It costs two to move through each friendly person. Okay. I'm going to do one, two, one, two, three. Three. I'm just gonna go right there. Just right in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Wait, can I start? Because otherwise no, I'm just on, like, yeah, on your turn. On your oh, turn. Okay. Actually <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna do ten, four, four five, six. No, no, no. You have one. I stay back. <laughs> you do points. Yeah, because you, were, you couldn't get up on your one. turn this Yeah, I'm still at level one. You couldn't get up on your turn this past time because you make death saves at the end of your turn. Okay. So that pretty much takes up... You, you woke up. That was your turn. Okay. Uh, now it is initiative, though. Oh. Uh, I hate me. Oh, and I'm still without my sword. It's still down there. It's down on the floor. My sword. Have yeah. your bow? Yeah. Alright. Do you still have you your bow? Also have spells. Spell? Yeah. Yeah, because it's just All right. a tower. Kara. No, I use. 
Wensu? 18. Sandra? 13. Morde? 22. Silent? 12. Dagmore? 16. Alright, so first is Mordai. Oh, Alright, so that's half, half your movement, which leaves you 15 that you can move. But I don't, you can't currently get further up because there's you don't have enough movement to get all the way past everyone. But if you've got any range attacks, you, you actually could attack the imp. I don't have, wait, do I? No. You have a dagger you can throw? Yeah. Do I really want to throw my dagger? Well, you're not using it otherwise. You're using your short sword, so... True. You can pick it back up later. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I'm going to throw my dagger at the... Alright, throw your dagger at the imp. Yeah, the little one. Oh, the imp, right. Yeah. Yeah. Natural one. <laughs> right. So you just kind of <laughs> fling your dagger over there and it kind of clatters over into the corner underneath the, the balcony. <laughs> well, you actually have a really good at it. You just... <laughs> <laughs> so, nice are you going to move, are you gonna move down the stairs at all or are you just staying um, where you're at? I'm going to... Can I move towards her sword? Yeah. Can go, okay. Which is like right here. It's just right at the bottom of the stairs. Okay, so like you could move all the way down yeah. and back. <laughs> no, I should go. Oh yeah, because you stood up. Yeah. You could Never move mind. to here uh, if you want to. Okay, that. Mm, and yeah. then. Yeah, that, that works. Okay. You, can't, you can't pick up my sword. No, no, Actually, no. he. Yeah, you, he could grab it. Could he? He yeah, uses action to throw it. He's got the little quick act, free action to grab to, it. Right to now. pick it up. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up her sword. Okay. <laughs> After <laughs> more day. Is <laughs> Winsu. I'm gonna hold my action for now. Can't hold okay. movement. Hmm? Can't hold movement though. But what you could do is he can hold his movement and then if yeah, it he can hold, hold no, sorry, he well, can hold his action if it comes to he could attack something and use his bonus action to no, dash. You can't hold bonus okay. action. You can't, can't hold bonus, bonus action, action no. okay. Kinda sucks, but yeah. Well it just seems like it's a it's a bonus action, it's not a movement. But it's not the action, you hold action. Like it's yeah. the action is a specific separate yeah. thing than a bonus action. Being somewhat familiar with this place, I know what this balcony looks like. Mm -hmm. So, like half your hip points back, quarters, and half. Careful. It's a third. Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I'm playing it like, because I can't see this guy. I don't know what he's doing. I can't see this guy. I don't know what he's doing. Well, yeah, you heard, I, heard him. But I heard them, but I do. I know that rogue is. Up there somewhere. Up well, there and somewhere. you know this is an open space, mm -hmm. right? That goes down yeah. to the first floor. So. Okay, so my, I'll take my movement right. where it's one, <laughs> two, three, four. Okay. Getting out to here, I can already see. Right. You can see those two easily enough. So I know that he's not over here. Right. So I'm going to start obviously going the direction towards his at five, and then I'd be able to do one more for free, then you can still take a, a bonus action to continue to move if you wanted to. Because you only lose five. I have to go to here, then not here, right? Because that's... Yeah. yeah, you could go across that way if you wanted. It's fine. Okay. So if I got to here, though, would I see him? Or yes. Is he, still he is not hidden. Okay. So I know he's there now. Well, technically, he is also aware that you are there, because you only rolled a 10 for your stealth. Yeah. Okay. So you wouldn't get sneak attack, but you could still attack him because he is within your range. And I know he's wounded. So yeah. I'm gonna attack him. All right. Punch. And miss. God damn it. Hit that edge of the paper. Maybe it's a ten. So. Ten. Yeah, you swing at him, and he basically takes his crossbow, and kind of parries off your attack. All right. And just kind of sneers at you. It's like a little bird man. I'm gonna gut you, roast you over a fire. Not if you die first. Alright. And then after Winsu, we brings us to Dagmar. Yeah. She's not sure what's 
where where the where the tiny voice is happening from, but she knows that Birdman just ran off around the corner. So she's and gonna go check. She that could out. actually see that guy too. Yeah. Yeah. But wherever he's going, he's he's small. So one, no hand. One, two, three, four, five. That'd be five, six, actually. Well, I'm got where I'm going anyway, so I'm gonna hit him. Okay. So red one will be the torch again. It looks like he's just staring in the corner. So a 12 and a 21 to hit the squishier one. The 21 will hit. Okay. Which one hit? The torch. Yeah, torch. So 11, Torch 12. is not a d8. Oh, torch it's is not. a d6. A d6. Okay, my bad, my bad. I'm gonna get the 6 out because none of my weapons do a d6. Hey, Barbie. Except your torch. Apparently. Well, I wasn't planning on using it as a weapon, but I don't want to be blind either. I'll take that. Uh, so six plus my strength, so ten plus fire damage of one, so eleven. Eleven. Yeah. All right. So you bash him with it, and some sparks kind of fly as you bring the the weapon around and, and club him with it. Yeah. Uh, he does not seem to take the one point of fire damage, uh, but he does take the rest of it. And he seems slightly like staggered by the blow, but he is still on his feet. Just coming into your neighborhood, and you just had to throw some friggin' imps at us. It's rude. Alright, after Dagmar, it is bad guys. So the rogue is going to uh, bonus action, disengage. He's going to move over here. Exactly here? Yep. And he's going to reach into a pouch. Pulls out like this kind of a round, globish shaped glass uh, um, vial. Vial, okay. And he kind of takes it, kind of shakes it a little bit, and then throws it. Uh, both of you two make uh, dexterity saving throws. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> 24 for me. All right, so you make it. Five. You do not make it. <laughs> so you take half damage as it hits the ground and it, it explodes in kind of like a, a liquid, almost like a, a liquid fire that kind of splashes out and around. Uh, you will take seven points of fire damage and you will take half that, so you'll take three points of fire damage. That's not, that's not too bad for fire. Meanwhile, this other guy moves around and engages the the monk, swinging his uh, great sword at you. And he's going to hit an armor class of 17. Nope. And then <clears throat> the other dude over here is going to be like, Foolish! I shall smite all of you! And he's going to do scorching, two scorching rays at you and one at the rogue. So, at you, miss, um, 21. <laughs> yeah, that's a hit. So he does 10 points of fire damage at you with a scorching ray and then at the rogue with the other one. Yeah, that's gonna hit you. And ten points of fire damage at you with his up with the, the third and final scorching ray, mm -hmm. and he's going to move around kind of that way. If you could kind of just moving halfway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and is this one still alive too? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the imp is going to move towards Morde. <laughs> And hit an armor class of nine. No. All right. So it's like whoosh, this little <laughs> stinger tail kind of whips out at you, but you are prepared. Not again. <laughs> nope. <laughs> then after that, it is looks like Sandra's turn. Yay. You get to do. Can something. I see the bad guy that's attacking the car? Uh, yeah. yes. Okay. So I. You can also see the. I can't. See. Mm -hmm. He's down below you. I have your sword. I do have my sword. So I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Okay. And I'll help you. You lower HP. 
I'm going <laughs> to try and shoot the ish. I'm going to try and shoot the imp. All right. Take a shot at the imp. 14. Hit. And then it's a D8. Where's my D8? Very cool. Mm. Mm. You tossed it. Where did the vial at me? Did I see where he got the vial from? Out of his pouch. Out of his pouch. Six. Six points? Mm. All right. So you shoot the imp, and it kind of passes through one of his wings, and it tears kind of a hole in it. But he just kind of flutters, and he turns and kind of hisses at you. And it says something in Infernal that isn't so pleasant. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you recognize what he says. He, he, he called her some really unpleasant things and said some really nasty stuff about her mother. Can I just snicker? Yeah. <laughs> just My snicker. mom is dead. <laughs> you know Inferno? No. <laughs> and of course. Not anymore. Anybody yeah, here that heard it knows Infernal would, would recognize what it was. Yeah. <laughs> just yells out the They don't like your mom. I speak three languages, <laughs> one of two of which are useful in this world. Uh, so All right, not, so not after Sandra, right. it is Silen's turn. All right. Is one of them common? Yeah. <laughs> so, speak one extra language. I'm going to move to here. Okay. And I, I'm going to Eldritch Blast the imp again. Okay. That'll be a 25. Hit. I don't know if cold matters. Um does not have resistance to okay. it. Okay, so. Uh, so that is 15. 15, all right. So you blast the imp, and from your point of view, you just see this this uh, light hit the imp, and it just kind of explodes in black ichor all around you. <laughs> you get a little bit of it on your face and everything because of the angle, but it's just like, and then it just dissipates into a puddle on the floor. How much damage did you take? That's the money shot. Right now? Yeah. After Silen, it is Kara. You, it's your turn. You're the last. Ooh, you get to punch things. <laughs> punch something. I'm punch. Um, I'm I'm That's a hit. <laughs> 19. Hit. I'm use a key point. Hit him third time. Because he might have to instead of I can kick him when he's dead again. <laughs> Just in case. I can't press the whole time. Punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Overkill is kind of Kara's thing. You're not wrong. <laughs> she likes to make sure. 24. All right. So, just like before, punch to the jaw, punch to the other side, head lolls nastily off to the side, and as he's falling on the ground, you kick him. Can I kick him over this balcony? Sure. First floor. Sparta! Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you kick him, and he tumbles backwards over the railing and onto the floor down below. And yeah, make just, it a. Oh, go ahead just, if you want I'm to just move. No, just turn and smear it. Eyeball him. <laughs> okay. You should just you smile. Just be like, can, I, can, can you move? move? Can I move? I can't. I don't have any more hits. You still can move. Yeah. You can move yeah. if you want. You can just go loom moving. over him. Yeah. You get in base contact. Right? Just sit there. Like sure. <laughs> that way, your next movement, unless he runs away, is to whoop his ass while he's just moving. Plus, he's at disadvantage on his spell, right? Or she's at disadvantage on his spell attack. Okay. Is it initiative? So initiative. <laughs> uh, Kara? Uh, 11. I did better this time. Winsu? 16. Sandra? 4. Morde? 19. 19. That was close. Silent? 2. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Dagmar? Uh, 22. Nice. Alright, Dagmar, you are first. Okay, go uh, pee. Well, you're next, though. So, be okay. quick. I'm not quite casting. Um, <laughs> uh, so, the first thing Dagmar's gonna do is she's gonna, like, she's still on fire and she's gonna kind of shake that. A guy um, could be standing up. Uh, so, she's gonna take the, her long sword and basically tuck it under the arm that's holding the torch. She's gonna reach over and Pat down Wensu's flame. She's going to rally him. So he will heal for five hit points. Okay. And then she is going to be like, and you, fucker. And she's going to turn with both her weapons and she's going to attack this asshat. 
Well, you use your action to rally. It's a bonus action. Oh, it's bonus action. So you get one attack. Yeah. Because you use a bonus this, action to uh, take an offhand attack. It's a 14, so I don't think it hits anyway. It would not. Okay. You just make it get in his face. Yell at him a bit. All right. <laughs> so after, after <laughs> Dagmar, so you run yes. forward and you uh, uh, try to take a swing at him, and he bats it off to the side with his crossbow, and he just kind of looks at you and, and smiles, and... You see him take out another globe and just kind of drop it at your guys' feet. Oh, Constitution shit. saving throw. That's right, because he's immune to the fears. Fires. That's not bad. 20. Not bad. So you only take half damage. But it's not fire this time. This time you see this green glo- gas kind of go, and this cloud of gas kind of surround you. I thought it wasn't because it was con save. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you take half damage, so you take uh, two points. Two points of poison damage. Yep. And he is going to... Uh, he can't actually, disengage. He can. If you bonus actions. Because he can use a bonus action to disengage. <laughs> but he is going to... He's going to stay there. And stick his hand back into his pouch. I'm getting sick of the contents of that fucking pouch. Cut his hand off. Cut his hand off, okay. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> over happy. here, the the <laughs> little dude just kind of looks at you and is like, You have made a fetal error! Wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh, that should be good for the monk. <laughs> uh, 13. You find yourself paralyzed, completely unable to move, and he just laughs. <laughs> And he moves over here. <laughs> he moves away from the paralyzed person. No. <laughs> yeah. Backs up anyway. <laughs> and he reaches in and pulls out a wand. Soon you shall all perish! And he begins waving it above his head. Is it nice. a unicorn wand? No. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Mm. All right. We use the one so after that, that it is Morday's that. turn. Hello. Gave it to those little dudes. So no, 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 I got it from the little dude by trading my giant fucking shark. Mm. So I have this one sword, correct? Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna run over to her and give her back the sword. All right. You're just gonna drop it into her sheath. Basically. All right. There you go. <laughs> um. So. So that's what. That's how. That was three. That's three. So, so you can do four, five. You can move stand there. in front of her. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because you're at nine. Yeah, you have more hit points than I do. Because you're level one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using all of you as shields right now. So, after that, after Mordai, it is Winsu's turn. Alright, Winsu. What you doing? He's very frustrated with this individual. Um, and he wants the, his tools. <laughs> I want your tool. It's like, I hate you, but you're so good. I've read some fanfic. <laughs> so I will. I'm just gonna go within range here to attack him. Alright, so you move up. Cut off his arm. Fuck. Pick his pocket. 13. Yeah, 13. So you swing and. He is, he seems to be way too quick. Mm-hmm. And he's, he just kind of does this like little bend of the hip as your blade kind of <laughs> comes by and just kind of scratches across the the uh, edges of his studded leather armor. Put your hands on the hips. After wins, oh, you want to take any bonus actions? Well, I was just saying, I could use a cunning. Cunning action to disengage. And use the rest of your movement to back up. Mm-hmm. So I will disengage. <laughs> So I like to step back off of him because I know he's reaching at you, so I stop. Okay. <laughs> and then after Winsu, it brings it to Kara's turn. How do I wake who up? Who can't do anything. How do I wake up? At the end of your turn, you can make another wisdom saving throw to see if you can shake it. You got this, Kara! It is now the end of your turn. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Pretty much. So I just right now? Yeah, because yeah, you can't do anything else. Yeah, so it, You can make evil looks. What'd you get? A six. Yes, you are still frozen, paralyzed, completely unable to move. 
you can see him, the frustration wearing on you, but you were just completely paralyzed. After Kara, it is Sandra's turn with a four. Are you proud? I'm proud. <laughs> Why'd you have to go in front of me? Because I, I don't know. You can just tell us where you were. Where you can just heal him. No, I'm trying to see that. One, two, Could you hear me? three, four, five, six, or five. You can maybe really just move here or here if you wanted to. Okay. One, two, three, four. <coughs> you can move diagonal. Four, five. No, it's right there. One, oh, two, right three, there. four, five, six. Oh, okay. And yeah, right there. Okay. So you move up next to Kara, what you gonna and do? you see this little gnomish figure waving a wand above his head. Can I do anything for her? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, no. So it's like I don't really have you don't have anything that would... Do you have any spells that you can do anymore? Um, mm. I'm a cleric spell. <laughs> she does. Cleric She's used, used cantrips what, for a two spells so far? I've used one. One? Yeah. One cure wounds? Yeah, mm -hmm. one cure wounds. Okay. How many do I have? That wasn't really That's on your sheet. That's on your okay. sheet. I don't think I'll go to Yes. Oh, yeah, the spell slots. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, written wasn't written not written down. Oh, it's not written down? Yeah. No. Which I don't remember how many level one. I think it's two. It's two. Probably. We'll go with two. It's two. Yeah. So you have one first level spell left. She'd be way too good. <laughs> Alright, so what you doing? Uh, I'm going to use Guiding Bolt. Guiding Bolt, alright. On the gnome? Yes. Alright. Bad guy. Oh, there's two bad guys. So you gotta clarify. I can only see one bad guy. Technically, you could see both of them. I can? Mm hmm. Oh, I'm gonna do that one. Next. I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty beefy. Alright, so Guiding Bolt at the gnome. And these don't block. 14. 14. Unfortunately, you do not make contact. So you let off this like golden ray of, of radiant energy, and the gnome sees it coming. And he just kind of, kind of sidesteps ever so slightly, and it strikes the wall behind him. And he stops laughing for a second. He's like, "You shall be first. And then that makes it Silence's turn. <laughs> Get it, Silent. Yeah. You come back corner. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. I still have a scroll <laughs> from a previous adventure, and I don't know <coughs> if I want to use it or not. Um. Side question: While he's looking that up, um, is the Gibson family crest the same that Greta uses? Like, is the same as Greta's holy symbol? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. One other question too, because I realized something with my ring of free action. Yeah. It says difficult terrain doesn't take, doesn't cost me an extra movement. So moving through oh, okay. friends. Oh, okay. So moving through friends wouldn't cost you. Okay. So that's, that's cool. That's what I was thinking about that too. So yeah. Um, and that, well, climbing still. <coughs> climbing doesn't affect you because that's one of your abilities for your. <coughs> okay. For your class. Class. So now I can move through friends. You all right? And it doesn't yep. cost okay. me. Right. Okay. okay. I, I was okay. reading it in my, some of my... Yeah, I forgot you had the ring. Drink it. It's raw. Alright. So what you doing? Perfect. So I'm going to pull out a scroll, <laughs> and I'm going to read a command word, and it needs to make a wisdom saving throw, DC 15. What? Combustible dude? Or... I just meant which one are you targeting? Oh, sorry. The Yeah, the, the magic ah, user. Okay. So DC 15? Yep. Wisdom? <laughs> Wisdom. Yep. Nope. He will fail. Get so it, I cast command. <laughs> okay. And I tell him to grovel. He falls prone and ends his turn. Alright. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that is my turn. Neil, so, right. peasant. Yeah, that is initiative. Getting attacking him on his ego. That spell was probably nasty, so... Yeah. Bye-bye, scroll of command. I don't even remember where Oops. I got that. <laughs> Oof. Are you a wizard? No, you're a warlock, right? So yeah. it's not like you can even add it to your spell book. No. You need, like, a lap desk here, buddy. I do. 
like a little or like side TV table. Tray? Yeah. yeah. I have one. Would you like it? Next time. Okay. Next time. <laughs> or when we break, because we got to stop after this to put a kid to bed. Okay. Um, Kara. Um, six. Winsu. Uh, nice. Sandra. Six. Morde. Twenty-two. Silent. Uh, six. Dagmar. Twelve. All right. So first up, Morde. Down. Just gonna keep running back up and down the stairs now. Um, I still have my short sword, so. Uh, one, two, three. Could you. No, let's say. Four, would, five? Would he be able to pull the dagger could, off my. Yeah, off my could he do a diagonal right there or no? Because the wall. Uh, uh, yeah, he he went pretty much where he was gonna be able to go. Just because oh, yeah, of other because people of blocking other, movement. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Friendly. Him taking a dagger off me, though, would be a movement, right? Or an action? Yeah. If I have daggers. I have five daggers on belt. So he hasn't used his action though. He could. He can't he can. use his action. So you could grab you one. You could grab a dagger. You couldn't do anything with it, but you could grab but one. You could, you could grab one. one. So if you want to grab one off me, go ahead. There's Actually, no technically, no. You could still throw it if you wanted to. Yeah, you could just quickly grab it and throw it. Because you have the ability to throw shit pretty well. So I'm just saying, grab one off me and throw it at him. He's on his hands and knees. Okay, right? let's do well, that then. Well, he's prone, which means that you're at disadvantage to throw it at him. Oh. <laughs> but the other. What about this guy? It's that guy. This that's asshole you can hit all day long. Um, really. I don't think you'd be able to see him though. Mm -hmm. no. So you have to I'm just gonna grab your bit. like grab a dagger. And you could ready your action, so if he stands back up, you can throw it. I'll do that. All right. Who's next? You're oh, the sorry. one who actually this. I got a cool board for it. I thought uh, Winsu. Oh. Winsu. Winsu is gonna. I'll go next. Go back over yeah. there and attack that rogue again. Okay. Pick me. Pick me. Or I don't know if he's a rogue. Whatever the hell he is. An asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen. Miss. Oh. Again, he deflects, kind of sweeps it away with the, the edge of his uh, crossbow. So Winsu will back up again. Okay. I'm gonna kill this fucker on my turn. Mm -hmm. and then it is Dagmar's next. Yeah, she is. Okay, I'm gonna attack him with both of my weapons. Um, the so, red one being the torch. Okay. 17 and 10. 17 will hit. Okay, so she's going to do. do. <laughs> it's a torch, so it doesn't make sense. Nine points of damage, one of which is fire. Yeah, you never that. I gotta try, you know. And then she's going to use her action shirts, action surge, to attack him again with the long sword. Okay. 15. To 15 to hit. It's a miss. She tried to kill him. She tried. She tried really, really hard, and he's bleeding really, really badly. <laughs> You're dead. He just doesn't know. He just doesn't know yet. <laughs> uh, after you, it is bad guys. So, he just kind of uses his... Um, Takes, reaches in, pulls out a, another globe, and he kind of looks down at it, and he's like, hmm. And it's got some sort of, like, white fluid in it. And he just kind of takes it, and he throws it past you over into that little kind of, like, open area over there between Morde and her. Can I make a reflex save to catch How it? can he do that, though? <laughs> he's got arms. But no, there's a wall. You've seen that movie where they can... He's bend, bending it. Where, yeah. they can, where they can curve bullets. No. <laughs> that makes you feel any better. I don't like it. Yeah. You move <laughs> over. <laughs> but can I try and catch it? No. Okay. I want it to be... Look safe. out! But uh, everybody within uh, 
20 which feet. Which one is it? Uh, we'll go that. No. This oh, one. that one. Anybody within <coughs> 20 feet of that, make a uh, dexterity yeah. saving throw. Is it even one thing? No. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's four squares. It's everyone except for Dagmar. Why do you hate me so much? Mm. You actually wouldn't really get a save because you're paralyzed. Oh. <coughs> you're like, oh shit! <laughs> so, what'd you get? 27. Okay, so you're <laughs> fine. Okay. 10. Uh, sorry, uh, 16. Okay. I'm out of oh, you're out of it. Uh, so everybody, ex what did you get again? Ten. Ten. Okay, so you two are just completely plastered in this almost like a sticky webbing-like goo that kind of spreads all over everything. Uh, yeah. You kind of like hop to the side as it like kind of coats uh, down around your feet and everything. Not that it would affect you anyway. You have your ring of free action, right? Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't be affected by it. And uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you are also free to, to move, but everything basically, that it's whole area becomes terrain. difficult terrain. Yeah. Fine. So would I automatically be underneath that stuff? Cause You're I'm automatically paralyzed. stuck. Yeah. So am I stuck? Well, you failed it, it anyway, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, and with, with that, he's like, ah, damn pouch. And he pulls out a dagger. I think he's out. Oh! Oh! I need that pouch. <laughs> oh. Okay. And then after him, it is him. So that... So basically command just... It says... Um, it just lasts for one round. And... Until your next turn? I, it probably is until my next turn. I guess, because normally, like in the standard way that uh, they do it, is that they just keep the same initiative order. So, What's I don't the duration? know. Just around. Hmm. What does it say in the description? Sometimes it'll specify. Uh, you speak one word command to a creature you can see within range. Must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn. Okay, so yeah, on its next turn it follows the command. Okay. So on this turn, so I guess technically it was still standing. I didn't read that part, sorry. Alright. Okay. Um, but you have held your action, so if you want to use it to throw it, just to do it now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> But yes, and so what does he do? He's gonna. I did the grovel command, so he's gonna fall prone and end his turn. Okay. On this turn, on it's his turn now, so he will do that. Damn. What the? Ten. Literally, do <laughs> so not you let fling me fling the dagger, <laughs> and it just kind of arcs over and goes like down off into the hole. Stop telling me to throw things. <laughs> you're supposed to be really good at throwing. I. Well, you're supposed to be good at spell casting. Four minks and no, like in I'm, your last one, yes. I, yeah, you still have them though. You're getting my dagger. Okay. <laughs> so uh, no. uh, so now it more. is Silen, <laughs> Silen, <laughs> Sandra, and Kara at the same time. Oof. Okay. So since really all you got oh, wait, is at the end I, of your turn, you get to make a do we wisdom save. Like, to, like, times, basically, like, in the no, you're still still held. Going? No, that uh, just stops your movement. It doesn't affect you. Yeah, you're your just slower when you move. Yeah. Now that he is in my sight. Can I shoot him? Yeah, you can shoot at him. Yes. That doesn't require you to move, so exactly. you're just kind of stuck in place. So. I'm going to shoot him. All right, shoot him. I'm going to try to shoot him. I'm very <laughs> bad at that. <gasps> 22. Hit. Yes. Dang, dang. Yes. Gang, gang. Eight. Eight? No. Yeah. Oh, yes, you're right. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong number. All right, so you're like... <laughs> And the arrow kind of comes flying through and just like catches him right in the neck, and he's just like, hey! and he drops to the ground. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just I had to. Ask I know it's one. not my turn, but can I pull a car and kick him while he's down? Sure. <laughs> All right. Asshole. All right, Silent. Like so I'm going to cast a bonus action spell, Misty Step, and I'm going to jump across here. I'm going to pull out my long sword 
<coughs> since I have advantage on that, since he's prone, I am just gonna stab him with my sword. Right. <laughs> no more. I think this is the first time Silence ever done that. In um. And it shows. Yeah, hey, there you go. Shows. Uh, twenty-two. Hit. Eight points of damage. Eight points. Eight All points. Right. <laughs> Just oh, yeah. <laughs> that was that was so that was 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 that I already rolled, it was 23. Sandra? 17, sorry. Morde? 8. 16. Oh, 20! What is this? Alright, so Somebody first up is, is Winsu. Is, so he's, is that he's prone? He's prone, yeah. he's not dead. I know that guy died. Mm -hmm. You can move diagonal, remember. So, yeah. okay. so you have advantage on him because he's still prone. prone. Right. I'm going to lower the flies on him over here. I missed on that one. I was like, uh. But just roll well, your second and see if it's higher anyway. Same, exactly the same. <laughs> 12. Alright, so yeah, you swing at him and he's just kind of like rolled. You're like, ah! You're like, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, <laughs> After Winsu is Dagmar. How is the belt attached, or how is the pouch attached to him? It's tied to his belt. Okay. Is it easily untied? Uh, no, it's actually belt? attached to the belt. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to unclip his belt and take it. Okay, so you <laughs> take the belt with the, with the pouch on it. Yeah. <laughs> And then All I'm right. gonna walk over here. Kill that asshole, take his shit. What's going on over here? Is he dead? Nope, not dead. Um, back up a little bit because it's difficult terrain through the web oh, okay. area where you walked up. So back up like two squares. Okay. Um, do we want to keep him alive? See if he's got any information on what's going on in town. Sandra. That would pretty much be. No, that's right. Um. Am I stuck? Yes. Like entirely stuck? Yes. Can I cut myself? You can make a strength check to try to move. I will do that. <laughs> Sam. Nope. You are, you're like, yeah, yeah. And it's just kind of like all grouped up around your legs and your feet. So it's you like can't quite move. Is my action. Mm. It just means you can't move. Okay. Can I shoot? And then I'll have disadvantage because he's on the floor. Sure. That is a miss. <laughs> All so right. we're not questioning. So Silent and the gnome well, so simultaneously. He's not, he's not down forever. No, he's not down forever. And he just like, you fools! I shall destroy you all! And he casts fireball on himself. <laughs> so everybody within 20 feet of his location, roll a <laughs> dexterity saving throw. Should have backed up further. Uh, okay. Four. Four in any direction from him. Uh, this is going to be a shitty thing to do. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. So I'm getting hit and yep. Hara's getting hit. No. And the web is uh, going to ignite does and it cause five. Yeah, it does. 24 yes. fire damage to each of the people inside the web. Me? What? The web is flammable. Yes. As if but it's, it's not as wet. per the spell. It's not web. Okay, so it's not the spell. It's 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 not what kind of saving throw? Dex. Dex. Dirty saving throw. Can you not? Not <laughs> attack. Technically, you can't move, so... Damn it, but still, like, it's the principle of it. I've been rolling eights and sixes. It goes to, like, 15 and then goes to 3. Wicked, so, clear it up. Winston? Maybe, Wait, do maybe, maybe, it, maybe it's, it's like okay. a speck, right? <laughs> Sandra? 10. Okay. More days? 22. Uh, 12. 12? 18. 18. All right, so... Anybody that got above a, a 15, or a 15 or higher... Saves. Oh, so I have dice. Jesus. 
That's not what you want to hear. Not for the DM. So. Um, 20. So everybody that did not save takes 27 points of fire damage. How? Wait, what? 27? 27 points you just get of zero. fire damage. Can you just go to zero. Me over? Actually, does what? Are, does fifth edition have rules for 13. taking twice your hit points of damage? I'm not worried about it. Okay. So it's 13 for the ones that save. Huh? 13 for the ones that save. Then if it's yes. Okay. And those that save take 13. Oh. Okay. Are you down as well? Mm-hmm. And he will also stand up. Alright. It's always up. <laughs> and then that can heal us too, so. Well, it's still my turn. Yep. Because you go at the same time he does. Your eyebrows are singed. Um. <laughs> so I'm going to let you take your action before he takes his bonus action. Okay. Uh. That's not. That one. That's not good. I'm just trying to see what spells I have available that I can potentially use for this. But actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to taunt him and cast vicious mockery. Okay. Um, sorry, I don't have the card for that one. No. Uh, wisdom saving throw. What's the DC? 15. Alright, he'll fail. Alright, so he'll take D4 psychic damage, and the next attack roll he makes has disadvantage, so he takes 3. Alright, so he takes 3 more. Alright, and then he bonus action Misty Steps straight across. 6, however far 6 is. One, two, three, four, five. It goes more. Perfect. Just and then he'll use his reaction to feather fall okay. down to the floor. <laughs> that was on the first floor. Yeah. Like, okay. Let's turn this up. And he's like, "Ha ha! I will catch you again later, suckers!" And that's what he does. <laughs> I didn't know All right. Like a millhouse. And that uh, brings it to Mordai and Kara simultaneously. So, death saving throw. Second time we've been down tonight. Because mm -hmm. I just suck at everything tonight. Yeah. 16 for my saving throw. Alright, you are One no success. longer held. Yes. You can finally move around. Next round, you can basically try to get loose of the webs and do stuff. So, I'm just kind of unconscious, Swigner? Yep, you're, you're unconscious. All success right. on the saving throw. All right, and uh, that brings us to initiative. What did you do? Hmm? Uh, so so do to me. Uh, they haven't had their turn again. Their turn went before. Kara. Yeah, yeah they do their saving throw on their nice. turn. Oh. Winsu. Uh, okay. Fourteen. Okay. Oh. Sandra. Seventeen. Morde. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Silent. Six. Dagmar? 18. Alright, so first up is Mordai. Should I just lay there? No, saving throw again. Oh, again? Yeah. Yep. Oh, roll a one. Alright, another success. Two ones. Okay, so that's Mordai. Uh, Kara, you are up next. So it's a strength saving throw that I get free? Or just strength check or strength athletics. Check. Athletics if you have it. Yeah. Sixteen. Alright, so you break free of this, this weird goop all over everything. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the area around you is still um, difficult terrain. So I can move, though? Yes. Do when do monks get feather fall, or like it, or what? what? I don't know. I haven't played a monk, so... Yeah. John's like, I would like to point out that I haven't played anything. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do? Um... He's still just downstairs on the bottom floor. Yeah. So how... F Don't I have something for... I have slow fall. Okay. And what does that do for you? Mm -hmm. um, she can <laughs> use her reaction to reduce uh, any falling damage 
fight amount equal to five times her monk level. It's what, 10 feet? It is a 15 foot drop. So five times your five times four, so you can reduce twenty de fall damage. Okay, so I'm gonna go follow him then. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and then I just go over the ledge and follow no, no. him. Because no. each one of those squares counts as two. Well, well, no, she jumped down, didn't she? But she has to. But yeah, it's it, difficult to rain. But yeah. I thought you can jump down right here, right? Yeah. That's not what she did though. Uh -huh. I thought that's what her. What but was each one is worth two. Yeah, each one counts as two. Still make it though. One, two, three, four. Right? Not through the that not diagonal with the wall. Yeah, it can't go through the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I couldn't go over. No. Like that. If you were doing it that way. Or you could jump. Another try. Yeah. Okay. Right, because he's underneath yeah. this walkway, no, basically. Uh, of course, the ground down there is still covered in stuff. So if I get, if I jump down, right. that would be one. Yeah, uh, it'd be it'd be counted. Yeah, one to jump down, and then each one of those would be two, so except for one, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Right. So then I'd be right in front of him, but mm, right the behind level. him. He's facing that way. Oh. Yeah. He's trying, <laughs> he's, he's trying to run away. <laughs> Okay, so I'm on the ground level underneath this bridge then? Yep. Okay, I'm going to hit him. Go it. Uh, crit. Okay. And then uh, 16. Miss. Okay, so there's a key point. Uh, 15. So I just crit him once. Okay. So I roll my damage. Double, Double the dice. dice. Double the dice and then add. Yep. Okay. Just so is that two or one? Yeah, that's yeah, two. Seven. Seven. Eight, All right, so you hop down, run over there, kind of making your way through the, the sticky goop that's all over the floor, and you, like, swing and punch him in the back of the head. He's like, ah! But your other two swings just go wide. After He's Kara, it is Sandra's turn. Um, wait. Oh, oh this, sorry, Dagmar. This flurry of blows so says that I get two unarmored strikes. Hey, two instead of your normal one bonus. Instead of attack. one, you oh, get two. Okay. Yeah. You so a total of three. Attacks. I was hoping it was four. Yeah. That'd be cool. It doesn't count. So if I already rolled. It's Dagmar's turn. So, so this has difficult terrain down here. It is. It's also a 15 foot drop. Yeah. Well, I figured I could maybe use my athletics to, or an acrobatics check to climb down quickly. Is to hang off the railing and then drop from there. Mm, give it a shot. You can certainly try. That's it, my trauma. Okay, I'm gonna try and drop down to the to the thing All down right. below. Give me an acrobatics check. Nice, twenty-three. Okay, so you will take half damage. Okay. Too many dice. So then take five points of uh, falling damage. Okay. Um, I am going to use. My, uh, let's see, I want to use my bonus action for my second win. Okay. That's going to heal me for 1d10 plus my level. So, 9 hit points back, putting me up to 13. And then I'm going to use my action to, um, dash. Move through the, uh, goop. Yeah. Scoop. Which, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yep. 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, because normal movement you, past there. You, you've already used movement to jump down, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. How much of my movement does that take? Uh, Since I went straight down. It'd be a, a five. Okay, so, so 11. Okay. Which is better that way, because that way I don't have a, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, do I have an action left? No. Okay. Because you have used your dash. action to dash. Dash is an action. And I already used my bonus action. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now it's Sandra's turn. Okay. Um. Can I roll again? Because I rolled earlier and I don't like it. Well. It wasn't your turn. It wasn't my turn. Just barely. A ten counts as a savior. Yes. Yes. Then it is Winsu's turn. Before that, I rolled a one. 
doesn't matter. It wasn't your turn. <laughs> please, please, please. A second story doesn't work the same going down, though, right? Just climbing up? Climbing in general. Yeah. So if you climb down instead of drop down. But if you climb down, that's still 15 feet of movement. Yeah. Okay. As opposed to dropping, which is only five coming? feet because you're only... You're, you're willing to take the damage if you, you mm -hmm. land. I can't. Well, I only have nine hit points left. So taking the damage can be... <laughs> okay. So does what it, you want to do? Um, but does it become difficult terrain for climbing? Or I, don't, I don't have difficulty. He doesn't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. Because um, it would be one. Then three to get down. Also move this way too. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, four. I wouldn't be able to do anything once I get through, correct? You still have your action left, or is climbing an action? Um, climbing is technically well, no, because it's movement. Yeah. So you still be able to attack. So be able to attack. Yeah. Okay. So just roll your climbing <laughs> check <laughs> first to see if something happens. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm sure. That was intense. Uh, nine for athletics. Uh, unfortunately, uh, give me a, 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 a acrobatics check. Acrobatics uh, is a twenty-four. Okay, we'll take half. So you take three points of bludgeoning damage as you hit the floor. So I should have just jumped down anyway. <laughs> Still would have made it there, so. Alright, so I'll attack him. Mm -hmm. uh, sneak attack since mm -hmm. he's surrounded, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If I hit it. Is a miss, unfortunately. Everything else except for attacks are that needs to roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after Winsu, after you run up, you drop down, you move around to attack the guy, and he dodges. So anyway, so after Winsu is his turn. He's like, you fools! You had a chance to live, but now you must perish! And fireball again. <laughs> so, nice knowing you guys. Everybody that's upstairs doesn't have to worry about it because you are shielded, but the uh, the three of you that are down there on the ground, dexterity saving throws, that's you. Or oh, you can throw my shit, that's cool too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Huh? And there's all that stuff. So what'd you get? Sixteen. Okay, you passed. Mm -hmm. Uh cook. Hey. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Not a good score. Eight. Eight. So you failed. What'd you get? Twenty six. So you pass. So you two take half damage, you take full damage. Oh my god. Seventy six is now. Twelve. Yeah. Twenty-two. So 27 points of damage to you. Okay. And after half of 27, so still down. All right, 13. you guys drop, and then he will uh, bonus action, misty step, six that way, and then use his movement to move six more. Down the road? No, towards the cliff. Okay. You stop and look at the portal. Can't see it. But I want to know. Alright. 
So after him, <laughs> silence, like, it is silence turn. <laughs> you just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone's um, down. Okay. So all of this is still gooped from whatever that is there. Um, this is yeah for one more round. Yeah, then it dissipates. Um, so it, let's see, how far did it go again? It's 20 feet from Probably. basically where her head is. Here. Okay, so I'm already in it. Alright, um, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll just dash. <laughs> um, and I don't have any bonus action I can do. Because it, to try and get her a potion would be an action at this point, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Alright. We're out of so, <clears throat> Um, we'll do initiative anyway, because there's so many people on the ground. There's so many dead people. Not dead yet. That's not how it works. Zero is not dead. Hashtag not close. Alright, so... <laughs> Just unconscious. Alright, Kara. 70. Winsu. Mm -hmm. 10. Ten. Sandra. Morde? 21. Silent? A 9. 22. Alright, mm -hmm. so, Dagmar, you are first. One fail? God damn it, Dagmar. <laughs> <laughs> Morde! One fail. God He's got two it. successes though, so. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Kara? So close. I failed. God damn it, people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sandra. I'm gonna die. Uh, Pick it up. Pick it up. On the table. <laughs> Success. <laughs> uh, then it is Winsu. Yeah, pass. Yeah. Okay. It looked like I And saw then one. Silent. Oh, For some reason, you are last. Uh, it's pretty much always. He's just so completely like. Uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> grab one of the healing potions. Out and pour it down the cleric's gullet. All right, so <laughs> don't drown. Two D four plus two. Four. Seven points. Of, you're at seven. And then he is going to run forward and jump off the cliff. And I am going to <laughs> move as well. <laughs> Three, four, six, five, six. Where is he going? We don't know. We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some feather. He's got feather fall left. So oh, he's gonna slow fall his way again. I thought yeah. he was just gonna jump and die because he's like, oh, take it easy. But, you, know, but you do hear a ha ha suckers and he jumps off the cliff. <laughs> just, oh, this is definitely Millhouse. <laughs> Millhouse mana storm. All right, I'm guessing initiative again at this point. Go through. Yep. And... Oh, Where know. were you? <laughs> yeah. You don't. Why should we just go around the Why? table? Or? Uh, no, because, because it matters. Because I can still you can get to somebody you. before they have to make a save. Sure. So Potentially. So, Kara? Uh, 12. Probably 20 on my initiative. Winsu? 14. That's why I'm bitching. Sandra? 7. Uh, Mordai? 22. Oh, wait, am I back up? I'm back up. You can stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Silent? Not yet. It's your, not your turn. Silent? <laughs> 9. Again. 23. You're like always one above me. Alright, so <laughs> Dagmar? I don't want to be here. Okay, one success. Alright. Four day. Natural Ooh. 20. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time you've done that. Yeah. Uh, and it's only I want to stay alive. <laughs> so it's like you can suck it on your moves, but. Natural 20. <laughs> nice! Mm. Right, right, right. Uh, so it's a Kara! <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <there's laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, Cass! Silent? Cassidy's already up. I'm already up. So. Oh, sweet. All right, so <laughs> at this point, the anyone's... stuff on the floor dissipates. It just kind of. Is anyone still evaporates. down? Me. You. Okay. Well, so I can see. There's gotta be somebody. I can see him still. Okay. Uh, uh, 
we all just lay there and go, <coughs> and we all just try and gas some air. Oh my god. All right. Like all um, of us. <laughs> okay. It's going to take me too long to go downstairs. I'm going to use my bonus action to use my last spell and Misty Step down to Dagmar and administer a potion. Okay. So. Dagmar chokes on potion. Right. Seven Dagmar points. Rocks. Woo! And then, Sandra, you swinging. are conscious. At this point, everyone is conscious, so we don't have to worry about the initiatives. You want to go take your moment to put him to bed, and then we can wrap this up. All right, so uh, everybody is, is back on their feet, uh, battered, bruised, scorched, and burned, uh, but alive. Uh, you kind of walk around. What are you going to do? Um, I don't know. I guess I'll go back outside and or kind of go this way. I don't want to do much of anything. I have one hit point. <laughs> like, we're just been like burnt and cry. stuff. So I'm going to kind of look around and suggest, you know, like, do we want to stay here or we have a portal to go back and rest and just come back tomorrow <laughs> just as easy we're all half dead honestly tropical paradise sounds a lot better than this right now because it's fucking stormy there's dead bodies everywhere burning goblin or whatever the hell those are does not smell pleasant i say we loot the bodies and go back and then bring the big pirate lady with us this next time <laughs> and come back and figure out she's gonna stay there but she does not have to stay she can help yeah, but then that means giving them more money. Who are we going to invite to be her character? Yeah, that, that's be No. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of sit down. I <laughs> just kind of sit down. Dagmar never got up. Yeah, I'm just kind of like... You guys are kind of laying like, around. That was rough. <clears throat> Silent, what I'm do you think we should do? I'm sure Winsor is going to go around and collect the stuff off the bodies, though. Yeah. 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 He wants to go look at that one first, and then he's going to realize something is missing when he gets up. <laughs> his belt is gone. His I entire that, belt is gone. I took that guy's pouch. Also his belt. That belt had useful poison. Maybe. I don't know if it's the belt or the pouch. She starts fucking with it. She does not know anything about magic. Do you want me to take a look at that? Not yet. I'll get there. <laughs> <Someone's in> there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you have a heavy crossbow. Okay. That you find. It's in... Pretty nice, pretty nice crossbow. Uh, he's wearing some studded leather armor, but it's <clears throat> pretty mangled at this point with some a few holes and covered in blood. Mm -hmm. uh, in his in a pouch, he's got uh, seventy five gold pieces. Mm -hmm. Does anyone want that armor? I can fix it. Mm -hmm. Is that a spell or is that a cantrip? Cantrip. Yeah, I can fix it. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, it's just studded leather armor. Uh, all of the other uh, people really don't have any kind of like gear worth mentioning. Some fairly common weapons, uh, cheap armor. But they do have uh, 15 gold pieces a piece in their pouches. So that gives you three, four, four. So that's 60. Wasn't there five? Yeah. There's this downstairs. guy. Decca. 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 And of course, the imps don't have anything because they're, they're imps. They can. Maybe they just eat the gold. Do they have anything useful for silent? Imps, I doubt it. Spellcasters use stuff from things. I I have all the stuff and things I need. Oh. All right. <laughs> um, as you guys are are resting and everything, do you want to check out the remainder of the the tower? Because you. At least two of you know that there are other things in this tower, or were other things in this tower. This thing's created in the light. Correct? Downstairs or upstairs? 
That's uh, crazy. Like windows. Because there's a, a little balcony that goes and looks over the garden in there. Sweet. So this can this is counting as a rest. Sure. So we can use our hit die. Sure. It's important. I only have a couple of points left. <laughs> yeah, I'll use it. Um, we're taking a short rest, so if you like, you can calm. use yeah. uh, your hit dice pool, which is, you have as many hit dice as you have per for your level. You can use as many as you like, but you'll only get half back on a long rest. So you have, you have four hit dice because you're level four. So it's a D10, a D10 for you, and then you Plus your con modifier. Can you only do that once? Well, I give you guys. I can use until you run out of dice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. uh, yeah. Even on the short rest. Yeah. But you only get half back for a long rest. So. Yeah. Once you use them, they're they're gone until you do a long rest, and you get half of them back. Each get, long rest. I hand everybody twenty gold. How does that work? Twenty gold. Mine if I have mm -hmm. one. You'll get then it back. You'll get one back tomorrow. I have one, you guys get that? Eight. You have 20 gold. 20 gold. Thank you. So, you guys have adventured together before. Uh, well, at least, like, gone out, kicked ass, gotten things. How do you usually divvy up who gets what? I mean, gold is pretty straightforward. It's corn. Mm -hmm. How do you guys do magic items? Whoever can use them <laughs> the best. Whoever can benefit from the party best from it. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. It's not always about <clears throat> money. <laughs> no, but this thing is cool. I think. What was up? I don't want you blowing me up, please. I have a better more. dexterity than half the party. <laughs> How many more levels were there? Than me. There, no, no, there's, there's, it's a three-story. <laughs> yes, and this is where those things were tied up here. Right. Gold? I came from a place yeah, that Now, you remember, do you remember what was on the third floor? The master bedroom, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. With, a, With vault a vault and an evil orb. Oh shit, Millhouse has the evil orb. But I don't know that because I'm a different character. You can't stop calling it Millhouse because it's copyrighted. Oh, sorry. What, um, we didn't know what the orb did though. Every time. Oh no, it, it made, uh... It tried to, uh... It tried there. to take over Lou, didn't it? All of yeah, anybody that yeah, came near really. it. And we didn't know what it did after that. We, we don't did. know what the vault was in the vault. We do. We yeah, know. it was, it was all the <laughs> remainder of the treasure that you guys <laughs> did not go back and get. Half of ones whose feathers are in that fucking vault. On the outside. Um, don't worry, it was only about $5,000 worth of uh, various art objects, paintings, statuary. Kind of but stuff. only one soon I know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Assuming it's still there, of course. Yeah, well, they weren't selling it in town. All right. Is that enough to buy her ship? Is it? Yeah. A small one? A tiny one, I think. Yeah, I don't know the prices. I think the one I'm going for is like 10000 But anyway, what you guys doing? I mean, we can rest even here now. There's nothing else here except for smelly dead things. We haven't checked upstairs. I'm gonna go upstairs. Like Alright, so you make your way up to the uh, main bedchamber and you look over to where the orb should be, but it and its stand are no longer there. You go over and you peer into the vault and it too has been completely cleared out. Damn it. There's nothing else in the room of value. No. The right. time lapse has been like less than a day too. Yeah. Alright, I'll go back downstairs. It's been more than a day. It's been day two it's days. Been a... What, two or three days? Because yeah. it would the About first... three days now. Since they left the first time. Alright, I'll go back downstairs and just say, Well, upstairs is clear, there's no one up there. Or anything else up there. Give mm. Wensu knowing looks and let him know that, that our treasure is gone. <laughs> so, um. Where are we going to take it? They're all here. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> Alright, well. Wasn't there the shack outside, though? 
Yeah, they had dead things burn it by, burning by it. Well, what about inside? Mm -hmm. I want to check out the dead bodies. They're nothing but charred little piles of plant matter at this point. Any of them have a giant tooth? That's good. That means he escaped. Like you keep thinking. What you doing, Winston? I'm trying to remember what was on the second floor. That was the just bedrooms, bedrooms mostly. Yeah, that's where we fought the the elf, right? No, nope. halfling, mm -hmm. halfling, halfling. Tiny mm -hmm. stabby. We went through all the rooms <laughs> and chests yeah. and things. So yeah. we've the only room that place. had anything in it of Gosh. importance was the main bedroom. Okay. So everything's cleared out now, pretty much, as far as we know. Do some of us want to go back and catch, get the others, bring them back here? The ones I know that some of them wanted to come back here and go back to town, search for loved ones. I, I don't know, cause that short crazy dude could be back. I mean, he knows we're here. There's nothing here of his apparently, but. I, I don't like the idea. Of, what's what's in this? Was was it a swamp? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty horrible. And also, I don't even know how we're going to get to land. We don't have a ship. Those kids live in this tower? No, no, no. They have a house in the marsh. Yeah, I say we go check out the house and make sure it's it's clear and check the town before bringing them in here to a potential war zone because we don't know, I mean, how much of the town lived, right? Okay. You said it was on fire? You four, don't listen. Do you guys say anything about the orb? Because none of them have any fucking clue about it. Well, I, I think I, well, I just, I did ask. Or you came down and said that the orb was gone to me. So they heard her say something about an orb being gone to me. Oh, she said the treasure. I just said she everything never specified was gone. the orb. She I just said she said everything was gone. Oh, everything was gone. Okay. I thought, she, I thought you said the orb was gone and then you gave me knowing looks that the treasure was gone too. Um, what does the orb do? Uh, you're not really certain. You just know it was really evil. It had something to do with necromancy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll inform them. Okay. So, all right. Anyway, back to the to the thing. I just did. I just wanted to know what your guys' intentions are. <laughs> Telling him probably more it was a scary orb. You're, I mean, you're not over there. You're, no, I know, but I'm. But what? I'm. But a, she I'm, was the one who would have. Like, there's someone else over there who could have told. He doesn't have to be the one to say it. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> He's where he wanted to be. <laughs> Quit trying to push him away. <laughs> so I'll go, uh, okay. I'll go over to Silent and, and say, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the next move should be. I mean, we need a boat to get off this tower, but that guy stole something from upstairs that was, was pretty evil. Last time we encountered it, it tried to tried to take us over. And what did this look like? Um, I mean, you can just describe it. Like, if, if your character would remember, you can have your character describe it to me. And <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just a swirly green orb. Yeah. It was just a swirly green orb, but it had a stand with it also. And once it was on the stand, it seemed to not be a, as much of a threat, but it's only a threat if you're holding it. It was, was the stand gone too, or was that? No, the stand was gone too. And it had something to do with necromancy, which mm -hmm. we know that the guy whose tower this is and whose house we were. He's just the same at, one as the it's other. It's the same person, yeah. and we know that he was messing around with stuff like that. Okay. And his wife was into botany. Last time we were here, we fought big, huge plant monsters and. This is the second time we've been here, and it's a very dangerous place. Okay. But I don't know how dangerous it is now with that magical item gone. Right. So I guess the, uh, the, we don't know where that guy is going, possibly back to the town. Mm. Possibly. Um, so there's a place to dock a boat here or something? Yeah, you have to go down the path and down to the beach. Okay. But if so, there's no boat here, we can't cross the marsh right. because the marsh is full of... Right, and these guys got here somewhere, so maybe their boat is still there. Possibly. Um, we could check that out. Um, I guess we're all pretty banged up, so do we want to actually... How do we want to rest? Do we want to do it here? 
we know it's cleared out if a little creepy. We could go upstairs to the the master bedroom is what's upstairs and we can just kind of hold up in there overnight. Mm -hmm. You Wait. said that crystal portal's gonna stay open until we close it from the other side? Yeah. It might be best to go back through so we can close it from the other side so we're not because I mean once it's dark the thing is kind of glowy. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. If so we, what does the if portal if look open, like on our side? If we open the there crystal is, is, on this side. Yeah, you this can't side. see it on this side, so it's just the other side. And no we one's here to close it here. on this side. That leaves an open portal going to the island. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, now we know. We tie some rope to it or something. <coughs> or we have people on the other side that we tell to pick it up. We're talking about the one on this side when we go back, yeah. though. Are we all mm -hmm. going back? We haven't decided. Like, we're talking about it. Yeah. Meanwhile. Well, Winsu and the ranger have made their way over to the barn. Uh, you look inside, you see some stalls for horses, forge and an anvil off in, in the uh, corner. But otherwise, the place is mostly empty. Um, to In one of the stalls, you do find uh, the uh, mutilated corpses of two uh, plant creatures. Two, the two you recognize as basically the the, the elders that you guys had rescued from the cages in that other room. Aww. But they're basically just chopped up and dead in one of the stalls. Mm -hmm. Can I tell if there's been any horses or animals there recently? Uh, not in many, 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 many years. Is there anything other than just their remains there? Or? Hmm. Carriage. It's overgrown with vines. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you can have them here. That's too useful. Is there anything to cover them up? There's like <coughs> kind of old decaying hay or anything. Yeah, there's, there's some and stuff the in here that you could use to do that. I'm just gonna kind of. Compost them. Compost them. I'm going to cover the, the dead people up. Because I feel... Did you know Lou, that? Lou would yeah, we appreciate that. that I would do that. You're not here. Huh? He's talking to this man. Oh, you're talking to him. Did you know them? In a way, we saved them when they were trapped here before, along with the other little plant people. This is this what you guys were doing before I met you? Saving little plant people? Yes. That's what we do. We're out to save all little plant people. <laughs> so someone can sort of with the noble's daughter. Yeah. It's okay, criminal. Do you want to fight? <laughs> oh, criminal. <laughs> all right. Well, as, as, as if I'm any, my background's any uh, cleaner than yours. Exactly. <laughs> Shush. All right. So. You guys decide to stay here. You gotta go back. Oh, I think bef before we leave, how far down is it to where the boats would be docked? Should we see if there's anything still here? Yeah. Anyone who's not up for walking down there can stay here at the tower, but. We could know. also just kind of walk over to the cliff and look down. Over you know, it's way? on this side. Oh, that yeah, side, that's right. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go check it out. I'll kind of go behind the bar and go check it out. Uh, <coughs> uh, you walk around back there and you kind of look down. Like I said, it's only like 50 feet down, so mm -hmm. you can see it pretty clearly. Uh, and there is indeed two uh, boats, swamp, flat bottom swamp boats, that are uh, tied up down there. Okay. So I'll go back to the group and let them know. Did I see anybody around the boats? The, the, the little guy? No, no one? No one. There's nothing down there so that I can see. Right. Okay. I'll find things down there though. So I'll go back to the group and, and let them know that yeah. So there's two boats down there tied up uh, where we docked when we came here. So if you guys want to continue to town, we can do that or through the marsh and check the house. It's it, I what's I recommend that we get some rest first though because that marsh is dangerous. Yeah and going into town, we don't know what's going on. So I guess so. it just depends. Do we want to do it here, or do we want to go back to the island and actually... It's probably safer. We can close up this portal and then 
make preparations to have someone else close it up or what about the portal on this side though I'll do what I did last time. Well, no, <laughs> it took a roll last time to get it through there, and, and Lou got really damn lucky. Yeah, we got, I got rope. Can we just tie it to it and pull it through? I mean, I've even got a grappling hook. We could rest it on the crystal, wrap the rope around it. I mean, we could try it. I mean, the worst comes to worst, we can use the other crystal to get back here to grab that one, assuming no one takes it. I'm down. Right. We're running back and forth. <laughs> like or somebody has to stay and close it. Alright. So, where can we open it? Where do you, how much does, how much space does it take? We just do it down here? We don't do it outside where it's all stormy and gross? We can just do it in the middle of the room here. Okay. plenty of space. Um, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blanket out of my pack. And wherever we end up setting up the crystal, I'm going to put the blanket underneath so that if the crystal falls, it falls on the blanket at least. Okay. Okay. You anything with rope? Into the do I have rope? Well, I have rope, but can you do anything Fine. with it? Huh? Why would you stab a stick in the ground? No, I <laughs> said, doesn't the crystal yeah. get set I up mean, like that? It just gets. It just, just stands, stands up right. Oh, okay. Like rope tricks? What do you mean? Tie knots? This is a sailor over here, not me. I'm a sailor. <laughs> You're the one who's supposed to be able to be good at rigging things and traps and stuff, right? Oh, traps? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like reverse doing a trap. I'm going to set this trap up to pull the string and throw the crystal. And you just tie the rope around the crystal and have it secure that way instead of... I just want to make sure it's done, like, <laughs> nicely so that it doesn't break the crystal. Super cool. It's a big crystal. I would suggest you just tie one of your sailor knots around. All right. Can I tie a fancy knot around it? All right. Tie a rope around it. Okay. Now make it do the thing. All right. So you activate the crystal, and the portal shimmers open, and you see a beautiful beach, warm sun, and swaying palm trees on the other side. That kind of looks like the right spot, but where's the house? It, it op oh, I don't know this. We, yeah. uh, it, it opens. No, wait, I do, because I checked it, right? You end up no. like no, a little check. bit far away from the house. It's just a short walk. It's all right. Just making sure we have the right tropical island. Yeah, this is it. All right. So I'm gonna help people through. Uh, one at a time. You move through the portal, uh, and then the last person goes through. Which will be Dagmar because she's got the rope this time. Okay. Yep. And uh, gonna pull the rope through. All right. So as you. Uh, on the other side, and you pull the rope. Give me a dexterity check. 18. All right. So you yank it, and the crystal falls over, and the portal closes, and you have a chunk of rope. I told you you should have done it. It cut the rope. What cut the rope? The portal closing cut the rope. Yeah. You just now have, like, half, or <laughs> basically you're missing about 10 feet of rope. Well, I have two 50-foot chunks, so I guess I'm prepared. Um, fuck. Okay, so let's go back through the other portal so we can go through here. I'll go back through all this time. I'll just fucking roll with it. You start stomping up the path towards the house. Okay. Why do you have to do that, though? Can't we just open the portal here? No. Because the, the crystal, crystal still the house. set up the house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Hmm. Look at the singed end of my ropes, kind of muttering, <laughs> pissed off about it as I keep going. <laughs> Alright, and this is where we'll end it for tonight.